Yo, what up gamers? Starting off with an invade. So I'll pop my potion now and we'll pop ghost. Probably should have been using my passive sooner. Okay, we got one kill. Let's see if we can get anything else. Uh, looking like a no. Okay, I think we can just base then. Should be a kill. Nice one, guys. Alright, I guess we'll just pick up a dagger here. Alright. Welcome, gamers, to the video. And to my Azeri the Diamond series, episode 1, game number 1. This game we're going to be playing Azeri Senna. <clears throat> against Misfortune Morgana. For runes, we're going to be running Lethal Tempo, Overheal, Alacrity, Lost Stand, Gathering Storm, and Celerity. Probably going to be the runes we run all series. So maybe I'll switch to Triumph at some point if I get bored of Overheal. Should be a pretty good rune though since we're rushing lifesteal. How is Sana taking so long to get back into lane, by the way? I think she was just waiting a long time for a gold to start generating. Or something like that. We'll level E here since I don't have cleanse. And we might need to dodge a Morgana binding at some point while we're 1v2 still. She missed that one though, so probably not, but... Definitely better safe than sorry. <clears throat> at least for now, I'm just getting a lot of solo XP. Ow. That's right into that one. Remember, you can push a lot faster if you keep using Zeri's passive with the last hit. Because you're obviously going to push a lot faster if you're using both passive and Q to push. But if you... Obviously, the only times your passive is actually relevant for pushing is if you're last hitting with it, right? Because if you do it on a high HP minion like this, it doesn't do anything. So the best possible combination is use Q on the high HP minions, passive to last hit the low HP ones. That makes you push so much faster if pushing is your objective. Which right now it is, for example. It can also delay you getting your fully maxed passive if you want to use that to harass, but you don't need it yet to harass, you know? Sometimes it can be worth just use autos in the minions just to delay it. It's a little bit niche, but can be helpful sometimes. By the way, this game I was actually tempted to run Ghost and Cleanse. I might do that in a future game. If uh, if it's a game where we need Cleanse on Zeri because Ghost is also so good on her. So we can try out just r running No Flash. There are other champions who could be viable in as well, but Zeri is like one of the only ones who who really loves Ghost and also just doesn't quite need Flash as much as other champions because of her high mobility and her ability to dash. Okay, our jungler's top side. And the Ramus is mid. Didn't quite catch where Ramus went off there. The mid gank, but I'm assuming he'll be bot side right now. Alright, we're just playing chill for now. <coughs> Zero is a scaling champion and we have a outscaling lane, so... No point trying to force trades too aggressively here. Here comes Ramos. Oh, that's not good. 
I'll just do as much damage as I can to Misfortune while I know it's safe because they got no cooldowns. We got by around, so maybe this could actually be pretty good. Oh, wow. Nice one. A pop ghost, I should have done it before. Wanna keep the Lithotempo Temple stack? Oh, I'm probably almost certainly dead here. <laughs> Oof. Maybe if I could have done more, I'm not sure. Where's that as fuck now, though? Oh well. Uh, we'll grab this and this. I'm gonna do my classic colors as usual. Nice one, she forced a flash. Would be great if she would stick around to crash it now, but I guess she doesn't want to do that. Anyway, at least we were able to pick up some kills back there, and I didn't yet have a shutdown, so that's no biggie. Also, one big deal for Misfortune here is that she didn't find a good base while I was dead, and now it's going to be hard to find another good base opportunity because she's low HP, low mana, and we're in lane, so there's pretty much going to be no way for her to base without losing out on at least one wave. I'm going to start shoving as fast as I can. <coughs> yeah, so now we get a plating. Misfortune was kind of screwed in the sense that she couldn't push while Vi was there. And she also didn't want to base before crashing. So it, it, there was not much she could do, I don't think. I think maybe the best she could do was just base before I got there. But then if I crashed, she would also misfarm that way. I don't think Vi was going to crash, though. Vi just seemed like she was interested in killing Misfortune. Anyway, we got two plantings here. Nice one. Oh, hello. Fucking Ezreloth. Trying to deal damage to Misfortune, that's the most relevant person to deal damage to. Oh, okay, this is good. Nice one. Good shit. Uh, you want to focus their damage dealer possible if you don't have to overextend for it. In that sense, I was a little bit overextended if you just look at my positioning. But it doesn't matter because they're never going to turn on me there, right? They always want to finish off the Senna. So in that sense, I can position as aggressively as I want. Assuming that they can't just turn on me after Senna's dead and kill me, right? If that can't happen, if I'm safe from that, then it's perfectly safe for me to just play that aggressively. We'll stick around and shove this one extra wave. And there we go. I won't even bother with the next plating. Senna can get it if she wants, though. But I would prefer she doesn't, so now I can get the next one. Nice one. Ooh, yeah, I can just see out of the base here as well. Ah, I did it wrong. My bad. But, uh, yeah, like, the way you want to do that is you either bind... You either, um, use the non-smart cast version of abilities, where you can just target it. Or you can, if you don't have that bound to anything, you can just click the ability there. It'll show you where it's going, and you just need to aim it properly. I should have obviously been able to do that. I just messed it up. We'll try and get that on a different base. Uh, if this mi if I was gonna say, if that kind of dies, it's only because she was hitting it unnecessarily. That's a support sin. Very common for low elo supports. Well, it basically happens every game for low elo supports, but even high elo supports do it a lot as well. They see a cannon, and they're like, ooh, if I just hit it a few times, I can lost hit it. Without thinking that it's just costing ready to farm if they do that. <coughs> but yeah, you just want to ping your support away from the minions if you see them doing that. And hopefully they'll listen. I say hopefully. Some people ask me, what happens if your support doesn't listen? Well, they just don't, then you get screwed. You know, it is what it is. You just move past it. We should play some vision down. There we go. There is, like, just the absolute best pick in the game for clearing wards. Even the visible ones, the non-pink ones, if you just if it gets placed like in front of you, you can just so easily clear that. You just do Q auto Q. Or auto Q auto, I guess is the same, but I suppose Q is faster. I got my E available to just dodge a Morgana binding, so I'm not too afraid here. Wait, I'm doing this wrong. Oh, no, no, no! Ah, uh, then we're gonna... 
stopwatch. My bad. Okay, I definitely played that wrong. <coughs> For starters, I accidentally pressed Q instead of ult, so I got my movement speed late. I could have ghosted to get out of the Morgana ult faster as well. It was a bit awkward though, because I had to. Oh, I had to, I'll acknowledge that I didn't really acknowledge the possibility that uh, Misfortune would ult at the same time as I'm trying to walk out of the Morgana ult. So for the Morgana ult, I wanted to walk upwards, right? I wanted to walk. Hang on, let's see if we can just solve the situation again. Yeah, so for Morgana ult, I want to walk up. But if I walk up, I'm still in the Misfortune so I have to walk to the side where I'm still in the Morgana ult, so that was a bit fucked, actually. Good synergy be good uh, synergy between Morgana and Misfortune that I never thought about before. Anyway, we should be able to crash wave here real fast, hopefully make the Misfortune miss some farm. Zero's wave card at this stage of the game, ever since her rework, her mini rework is really good. So you, since you can clear basically the entire wave while you're focusing a cannon. There we go. We clear the entire wave. Like, it's actually just straight up probably the best level 7 wave clear of any ADC. At least relative to the mana that it costs. In fact, I'm pretty sure even Zaya can't clear that fast. Definitely not cannon waves. Are we actually just gonna pick up this turret just like that? We'll see. Yep. We got it. Oh, I don't have ult. Wait. I'm trolling. I'm gonna pop the ghost so I can leave. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah, my bad. I forgot I didn't have ult. We're just trying to kite the misfortune, though. She's walking into our shots, so it's really bad to chase Zeri for this reason. Because I usually, we have the same range, right? But if she's walking into my shots, that effectively gives my shots more range. I got her. I was gonna say, I, so long as she doesn't have flash, then I'm fine here. But, still gonna be a good fight for us. Nice one. Now I recommend Senna goes to there and doesn't just stay mid farming. Oh, sorry, it stays bot farming. <coughs> Let's see if we can get this right this time. There we go. Fast entry into lane. Mm, with that ult, I don't think I can just dash on Misfortune here. I don't know, because I've got Shield Bow, but with the potential for my shots after he is over to get blocked, I'd rather not risk it. Maybe join in here, though. Never mind. Takes minimal commitment to clear those pinks as Zeri, so it's not so risky. Ah, didn't get to clear it. We should hopefully be able to do the Drake here now, though. Now that Yoni's dead. <clears throat> I might just leave the Drake early to go get my wave. Yep. Oh, no, we're gonna fight. Probably. I'm gonna keep going. Oh, got immediately rooted. Yeah, my bad. I was hoping I would have a chance to at least flash the Morgana E. Or if I'm Morgana Q, sorry. But yeah, there we go. Team follows up and it's still overall a good fight. A bit risky, but like the time it takes them to kill me leaves them, like puts them in danger, right? I thought my team wouldn't actually follow it up in time, but... Looks like they had their head screwed on right this time. So we get away with that. <laughs> I don't want to bother going bot right now because this is just pushing towards them. So unless one of their team goes bot and shoves that out. So there's a way for me to collect. I'm just not going to be arriving to much farm there at all. So we're going to go mid and pressure here.
Okay, they're pushing bot, but I have a window to just get the turret here, maybe. Not gonna, quite gonna finish it. Oh, okay, they did. I just needed more people to actually hit the turret, but I didn't think it would. Um, okay, we're gonna stay here and try and win a fight. Ow. So much for that. Can I hit this Ramus, man? It's doing 118 damage per auto. Oh, hello. Okay, thank god. I can actually only hit Misfortune here. If I hit Ramus, I'm gonna be doing taking too much damage. Still got shield bow. Oh, hello. No! The barrier. The barrier also saved me. Okay, nice one. Is Misfortune dead? She is. Okay, we're playing with fire there. We always had E though. I was having an escape if I thought I was actually going to lose that. Zeri, are you a smurf? This is only my first game on this account, so you can't even see my match history. Hmm. You gotta be careful about the potential unit ult. Okay. You just base now. gonna hit me, isn't it? Whoa, what's going on here? That's not Spire. I won't even bother canceling my base. Oh, wow, he actually got the kill, though. One for one is not bad. Could have been a lot worse. Hmm. I think I'll try Bloodthirster third here. It's gonna be the Bloodthirster on Navori. I generally do prefer Navori on Zeri over Infinity Edge. Because it just drastically reduces your e-cooldown, which otherwise has a massive fucking cooldown. So we'll see. It's gonna be either Bloodthirst or Navori. Bloodthirst could be really nice for going aggressive and just always being high HP though. What? I mean, I guess he would eventually maybe have to flash from Vi anyway if he thought the Vi had ult, but she didn't. Got him. Nice one. Ow. Let's go left still. Uh, is the red buff up? Yeah, I can also steal this. And we'll just also take golems to throw up and just go for the ball in farm too. There we go. That was a lot of farm we just got in a very short time frame. Now we'll do Navori. Then I can just also spam my... Spam my E for Wave Clara and not have to worry about the cooldown. That's another big advantage of doing Navori. So big, you have to worry less if you, try, if you want to use E for Wave Clara, because otherwise it's very easy to get caught out. If within the next 20 seconds somebody decides to try and make a pick on you. Holy crap, that's under damage. Now they're gonna worry. There's not much point pushing here. Actually, I suppose there is if they're gonna be pushing bot. They're gonna pressure bot, we can pressure mid. They'll have to choose. 
who they want to defend against. Decent damage. Actually, if I used my passive on him, I would have killed him. Nice. Didn't want to like flash ult just to kill him. Love to save my ult and my flash for better fights. It's only Morgana alive, actually. Well, if I had plans, I could remove this. All good. Ramus is probably coming for us. It's fine. Nice fun. <clears throat> we'll just go check any of Remus's jungle, see if it's up and steal that. Good to, always good to do this if you're on the retreat, like from the enemy base. And you can safely take away camps. Just to deny them from the enemy jungler and anybody who might want them, especially the buffs. But anything is good. Oop. Okay, I got it. I'm just gonna base. It's not even worth making a play here. I got an assist though. I'm just gonna go do blue. It will be nice to keep up with Navor my newfound Navori ability spam. And then we should be able to get an easy Baron. Alright, let's go do Baron. Nice one. Now we go to the only lane left. Won't take long to close this game out if we play it right. Everybody left. Oh, he was very patient with that. Can't even reach me told. Okay, I can pop ghost here. Dude, I got minion block rages. Come on. Ah, leave the temple run out. Here we go. I got shield bow, remember, so I'm not really that vulnerable here. Nice one. Okay, awesome start to the Zerita Diamond series. GG. Yo, what up gamers, we are back for another game of Zerita Diamond. So we're going to be playing Zeri Emilio. Into Ezreal Lux. I just realized Zeri Emilio is like, when he, put, when he places a W on you, it's like he's like reverting the nerf Zeri received through her Q range. <laughs> That'll be nice. That's real. Buddy. <laughs> I mean, I can't have mercy. At least he stopped short of giving us a kill. Oh. 
Goes the jungler cane. A level W here so I can try and pressure them under turret. Oh my lord. Wow, that damage. God damn. Yeah, this is fine whenever you actually don't need to worry too much about getting engaged down or getting ganked. Usually I would do level 2E, but sometimes you can just level W. It's especially good on uh, blue side as well, I would say. It's pretty bad usually on red side because it's really hard to get good wall angles. You're very limited in the angles you can shoot your W at through walls. Definitely a big advantage to your laning phase is Zeri to be blue side over red side. Okay, nice one. Uh, we haven't seen Kenya. I imagine it's probably top side. We'll just keep shoving these waves under turret. Eventually Ezreal is gonna want the base since he's pretty low. We wanna make sure that if he does base, we're already just shoving in the wave, ensuring that he misses farm. Which forces him to want to stay, even though his low HP has limited ability to trade, limited ability to farm even. Oof. Oh, it's still hit her. That's kind of break. Pop ghost. Oh, they still have heal. Hmm. Hopefully I'm fine here. Oh, I'm going to have to flash here. Fair enough. What if I hit Ezreal here? Oh, so close, man. Okay, I'll stick around. If I get enough mana for E, I can kill Ezreal. I just need Q auto and then maybe another Q. We'll see. And we can bait the cane. Although, shit, I don't have E. I could have remember that. Cool. So, Kane's done a full clear, which you can do in like 3 minutes, 10 seconds or something like that, at the latest on Kane. It's been... almost 2 minutes. And he's not done anything past his full clear. Except, you know, kill my support. <laughs> Just a small thing, he's done. Nice, very good loss setting. Unfortunately, my situation here to try and get a good base is kind of fucked now. I'm gonna have to shove this wave and then shove another one. Hopefully we can get away with that. That's not what I want to ping, this. Yeah, he gets the idea. Nice one. Ooh, wait, I'm actually dead here? Or am I? No, I'm okay. Thank god. Okay, it was a little bit of a rest UZ there, but... Paid off. Now we shove the... How is he still bot side? There's no way. Oh my god. Okay, I guess he just... He started bot side, so then he did a full clear. Came bot, stayed bot for like a minute. Did two camps, then came bot again. Okay, my bad. Oh boy. Yeah, I had no way to defend myself there. I didn't expect to get ganked again. Somehow this didn't even crash. That's so annoying. Somebody must have frozen it. Boy, that's an ideal. This is a terrible base for measure, though. What? You need to go Sheen in this situation. Or, like, double longsword or cold longsword. You can't go Crick Cloak before you've got Sheen when you could have just bought Sheen, man. Nice one. How is it? He's still here, but it doesn't even make sense this time. It doesn't even make sense. I'm probably dead here. I'm very much dead here. That, but what is... Like, he hasn't farmed anything! He hasn't farmed anything since the last time I saw him. I'm so confused. What was he even doing? He had 37 farm last time I got ganked by him. What's he been doing in the meantime? 
what I need to check out this replay, man. Like in the, you know, after the game, the actual replay. See what the fuck he was doing in the fog of war. That doesn't even make sense. That is peak Loilo jungling. There should be a kill at least. Pop the ghost to get into position. Okay. Did luck survive? God damn, she got so far away without me saying. Oh well. No, oh, let me farm. My farm. Ah, oh, now I don't have it shoved in this wave. Probably shouldn't have used the on that wave actually. Maybe I can get a little bit of AoE onto this wave with this. Yeah, that's something. Alright, let's go get the streak. Swear to god, if Kane pops out of vision now with 37 farm again, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Okay, he's on 53. Good. I don't even know how he's ahead in form of my Echo, man. Like, what have these junglers been doing? <laughs> A little bizarre. Okay, well, a ward here is useless against Ken, I guess. We're gonna need to place a ward here. Earlier, I was, I was like, that was my intention earlier, to place wards, you know, both one ward here and then also one ward there. But I thought the ward here would suffice for now, because we weren't gonna get ganked anyway, right? Except, psych, we did get ganked. Okay, let's go place some vision. Oh, he already placed one. Nice. We'll still place another deeper one here and clear clear the boss cone. Uh, or actually, even here is better. There we go. We got a lot of vision against Kane now. Got him. Okay, Lux is currently mid. I was gonna say after this wave clears, I can consider just all inning Ezreal. Uh, what? I was in a in a wave there, man. Mm. Still late now though, because if I start a fight now, Lux could get here mid fight. I don't want to start a fight now. What I would have done was I would have just ignored these casters under turret and just gone straight for Ezreal. Holy shit! Ow. This is Argalio, right? Yeah. Where's this cane? <gasps> no. No. I'm dead. Damn it. That was a nice cue from her. Anyway, thank god that was Argalio because I wasn't... I refused to look at our team to see who the mid laner was. It was too intense a moment. Um... Now uh, we can go for Vamp Scepter. Let's we'll do this, I guess. This can't be too bad. Ooh, I could have sold my refillable for a long set, though. That would have been worth. <laughs> nice. So it'd be great if I had ult, I could actually just turn so hard right now. Should've made it go against the wall, actually. I missed this roll there. Okay, this is why we have sustain, though. Okay, in hindsight, I think I'm glad I didn't sell my refillable. They really don't want to stop pressuring me, though. There we go. 
have to walk all the way around though. It's not worth using my E just to get into position. Okay, we can go. Damn it, I wasted my passive on the minion. Oh god damn it, that sucks. Okay, I got him. Should've just counted their blessings that they got away. Is Kane coming? If it's just a Zigzult, I can probably dodge it with E. I'll leave the wave there, I don't want to risk traveling another wave. It's so annoying though, like when you play against Kane, like the amount of vision that you need to, to actually be safe from him because of his E, if you want to push up, is just... Like, it's it's not that uh, you need a lot of it. It's not the, it's not that part that's annoying, right? It's how deep you need to go to place the vision. Like, how far away you have to go from the CS. Like, ideally, I want to ward here, right? To let us know nice and early if Ken is in the area. But I have to walk all the way over there, man. <laughs> the mere thought of it just pains my ADHD brain, man. Close. <coughs> Oof. Smart Amelia to not stand around in vision, except they see him on that ward, but... <laughs> I think so. they warded here, right? I swear they did. Saw a ward on the map. You just do one... Auto with Q, well, one Q, then just immediately back off. There's no way she can land a Q on us if we just keep the trade that short. Right, hopefully we can do the strike. Oh my lord. Okay. We'll save ourselves time getting into lane here. Oh, there's a fight. Okay, nice. I keep missing. Come on, I want the cane. Fuck. But I'm not gonna get him. Ah, oh, Pedro had just not chosen to fight me, man. It was more valuable to kill Kane. <laughs> He ended a shutdown, he didn't. He just gave his life to protect Kane. I don't think he didn't do that on purpose for sure, but it's basically what happened. But I couldn't just continue chasing Kane and ignore Ezreal because then I actually might die. Yeah, a brilliant thing about Zeri, by the way, is just how fast the Q time is compared to actually auto-attacking another ADCs, right? That's why I can confidently walk up the Lux and just throw one Q and then be confident that I have enough time to still sidestep her Q, for example. Because the Q is just so fast, like my Q. This guy needs to stop it in the wave. Nah, it's fine. Lux ruined it. Awesome. Now he just needs to freeze. Old thing. He's doing it by himself though, I think. Nice. Just checking. But I remembered where the hold ping is. Most little supports want know what you mean though. But you can throw it out just in case. Okay, we see Ezreal mid for some reason. We can just keep pushing here. Try and get the turret. Okay, wasn't going to be first to anyway, so not bad. <coughs> okay, 
Okay, Kane is currently dead. I can... I guess I'll do Scuttle Crab if it's up. Yeah, it is. And then we go mid. I keep missing. <laughs> We're gonna be here in time for the cannon. No biggie. Damn. Just card most of the whiff. It's actually so annoying, or has been so far. They're annoying that whenever I use E to try and line myself up into the wave to try and kill it with my E. Lux just throws a knee and forces me to go out of position <laughs> and it slows down my wave clear because I can't position to hit as many minions with my E as possible. I got shield bow. Oh come on, I'm gonna have to flash to kill him. It's worth it if we get Ziggs as well, I would say. I got E. He's gonna try- Wow! Okay, not flash out apparently. Where is he? Here he is. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I, I don't think I've ever seen a Ziggs just W over the wall like that. Huh. Definitely possible though, apparently. We're gonna actually- oh. And check Kane's jungle. I'll just deal away his blue, I guess. He's gonna be up now, but hopefully he doesn't just rush straight to his blue. And if he does, then hopefully we finish it in time. And mostly, we only want to use our passive though once we've got the fully charged thing. Oh, hello. That's not good. Get me out, get me out. What the f? He wasn't meant to randomly spawn on me. Echo. Thank you. Alright, can base. Gal is a monster. He's got a Night Harvest there. Okay, this time I'm gonna try Bloodthirster for sure since we're facing an assassin. Maybe this is better though. Or, wait. Yeah. Would be better if I had more gold so I could either base on um, Vamp Scepter and Crick Cloak or. Vamp Scepter and BF Sword, or BF Sword and Crick Cloak, but oh well. Oh no, stolen Claw Drake. That would have been our soul point. <coughs> oh well. Mm, I'm just gonna keep pushing mid. I don't think we got here in time to contest the fight. Wait, don't you do extra on hit damage to the turrets with B? Apparently not. Got him. Wait. No, no, no. Dude, I thought... Oh, okay. At least he killed him. I thought I had flash. I meant to flash the wall, my bad. I stopped focusing on dodging skill shots. Hmm. Okay, nice. I'm getting ever closer to Bloodthirster. I guess I won't sell my Thorns Blade for BF Sword then, I'll just get into lane and farm until Bloodthirster. <coughs> nice one, team. Yeah, 
Yep, you can do this on top lane too. Sadly gonna miss out on all the farm that was there, but that's fine. We can just push another wave or two. Probably want to push two waves. One wave will be for Bloodthirster, and then the other wave is just because I can. It'll be good in the long run to get another wave, even if I don't need it right now. Because we're not going to get to the mid fight in time anyway. And there's no objective to fight over, there's nothing to defend. So there's nothing stopping us from getting another wave here, since we know it's safe. He did not need to do that, by the way. <laughs> it risks costing me farm for no reason. But some more wave is more than fine at the moment. We definitely don't want to restand and actually go for the turret, though. Because after the fight is over, they have plenty of time to rotate. So just get our item, recall, go back mid, keep on farming. I'm pretty good for farm right now. I guess I got like 8.7 CS per minute or something like that. Oh, hello. Okay. Nice one. Yeah, we should probably do Baron. That's good. Well, I guess me using my E on the wave baited him into coming to try and kill me. But that blood test survivability is no joke. He didn't stand a chance at killing me. back. Didn't even break my shield. I can dash out if this Nara looks like he's gonna hit me with ult. Ow, god. That hurts, though. Oh my god, I might be in trouble now. Yeah, I'm very much dead here. God damn it. How much damage did I take from Ziggs? 1,280. Jesus. And I was really hoping Wolves would be up to life still off of instead of find Kane. <laughs> oh, man. See that again. Your team has destroyed a turret. God, I should like I should have just dashed out immediately. I just didn't realize how much damage the minefield was gonna do. Like here's fine. Like okay, whoops, took a lot of damage. That's fine. Then I take more, more, more. And I'm like, yeah, no, this is too much. And no wolves, but there is a cane. Yikes. My bad. I mean, I would have been fine overall if I didn't dash into there. <coughs> just hoping I'd find wolves and not just Kane randomly going for a second assassination attempt. When he wouldn't have succeeded if I didn't dash in there. Should be able to get the straight go. I'll just get red first. I don't want to use E though. I want to dash over the wall, probably. Oh. There's a blast gun for me. Oh well. Oh, wait, there's a can here. God damn it, now this thing is in vision. Can I even drag it out of this? Okay, I can drag it out of vision at least. Oh my god! Not even close. <laughs> Jesus. Holy fuck, the damage from Ken at the end was crazy. Maybe I got hit by something of Lux as well, I'm not sure. That's why we bought Bloodthirster. Ow, not again. I got he doesn't have anti heal. Ow, ow, ow. Go get the Drake. Okay, Echo's getting it. We can do this then. He doesn't need to do that. He just risks stealing stuff. <laughs> Gonna worry in 100 gold. 
would be worth selling Thorn's Blade to get it, but not if I can just get it without basing. Oh, hello. Cool. Big greedy from him. Um, I suppose I'll stick around. Yeah. Nah, I think we should base. Hello. Come on. Come on. Got him. Or did I? I have no vision. I'm not gonna get him. Oh. Is he just inside the wall? No, he's... What the fuck? Very confusing. Yeah, if that doesn't get him, I'm just gonna leave him. Uh, okay, he's dead. Damn, I missed one key that would have got me the kill, I'm pretty sure. <coughs> Alright, what do we want next? <laughs> Whatever it is, probably pulls out a quick look. I could do Phantom Dancer, I guess. Phantom Dancer would be decent just for more mobility. Stop chasing, not worth. I mean, that depends on the length of the chase, right? Like, I stopped chasing, like, I stopped chasing Kane the moment I decided that we weren't going to get him, or if we were going to get him, it would take too long. But it's not like any time an enemy runs, it's like, ah, I just stop chasing, not worth it, you know, this. It's a common, uh, low, low mistake to chase to, to like, to overchase, you know, but not every chase is an overchase. Hello. Fuck Lux, okay. I almost got him. I'm missing. <sighs> Should have been able to do more there, my bad. Okay. But oh, we got him. <laughs> nice one. Ooh. Uh, I shouldn't be dashing in here, actually. Oh, thank god that CC timing was perfect. But this is why we run last stand on Zero, by the way. It is very easy to stay alive while you're low HP because of her extreme mobility. You can dash in with a super aggressive play, get low, then survive. Oh, no, 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 I thought that was a Gali ult. I could have walked out of that. I, like, my immediate assumption was it was a Gali ult. Fuck me. Ah, uh, why are the two abilities so similar? <laughs> like, clearly there's a big distinction between them, right? I didn't eventually realize it was a Zig ult, but the slight moment of hesitation of, oh yeah, that's just a Gali ult. Threw me off. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh well, GG. Alright guys, it's time to get to the bottom of this. What happened that one time where Kane ganked me twice in a row on 37 CS? So, here I get really desperate to try and shove this wave in. It's 1v2. Yep. Decide, yeah sure, I can take this risk. Then boom, oh suddenly, oh shit, my, oof, my bad, I'm almost dead. In the meantime, Kane uh, based, went Wolves. Gromp just happens to still be bot side. I assumed he'd be top side. My bad. Fair, fair enough. It happens. So forces melee off. Currently has 37 farm. What the hell happens now? What happens now? Because he ganks me again on 37 farm. Does he do Drake? No. No, he's... He's walking around. He's walking around. He's walking around. Does he start Drake? No. He's just walking around. Meanwhile, in, meanwhile, in my head, I'm thinking, okay, Kane is top side. He's got no bot side camps up. He's 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 top side. But he's walking around. He's walking around. Now suddenly, I dash forwards and boom, he was already in the middle of a Z. What on earth is this Loilo jungling, man? Did zero camps and ganked again, straight up. Did nothing. And then ganked. What the hell? Yo, what up gamers? We are back for another game of Zerit the Diamond. Starting off with another invade. Gonna find immediately enough fellows over here. Ah. Okay, we got the ward. Okay, sadly no kill for me. Who got the kill? Alawi. Or Alawi mid. Okay. Recently saw an Alawi mid on one of my friends games as well. 
people are catching on. I've always believed in the power of bruiser mids. The thing is, there's been so many bruiser mids that pop up, like, across the years. But it's only ever one bruiser at a time. I swear, like, literally all of them are playable mid. People just pick them up one at a time thinking they found a hidden gem. It's a whole fucking class of gems, man. Okay, so we're going to be playing Zeri Swain into a fellow Tarek. So, a good matchup for me already right off the bat, just saying Tarek, because Tarek is pretty great into, like, um, short range champions. Zeri is a little bit short of range, right? But she's also pretty mobile, so it's really easy to kite Tarek. If he can't reach you, he doesn't do any damage, and then he doesn't do anything at all. Can't even heal if he can't auto. Uh, that being said, I do see one issue with this lane already, and it's that Swain, like, the one thing Tarek wants to do is reach you and hit you, and the one thing Tarek, or Swain does is pull enemies towards him. That's already some, like, uh, counter synergy in that matchup, you know? Oh. Yeah, so I mean, if he's low like this, then sure, we can pull Tarek and it's fine, you know? But uh, a lot of the time, pulling Tarek towards you is the last thing you want to do. It's like Hook supports against Tarek, it's like, why? He wants to get to get onto you. Oh, this might be one dead swing. Oh, almost had him. I got Ghost if I need to dodge another Tarek key. Okay. Focus on crushing this. Remember, you want to last hit with your passive as much as you can if you're pushing. That way you just push so much faster. Damn. Let's hope they at least get this turret. The plating, I mean. Yep, there we go. Even though I killed one minion this wave, will still be perfectly fine. Because these melees are going to go under turret and die. And the fellows hopefully shouldn't be able to crash this in time to make us miss too much farm. We'll grab double longsword and a potion. And we'll just zip out of the base with this. Even doing a little bit late, it's still a lot faster to do this than to actually walk out of base. Especially the, the, le the slower you are, right, the more worth it is to use E. So... Basically, if you have no boots, if you only have tier 1 boots, if you have no zeal item, the more worth it is to use the out of the base. But it's pretty much always going to be worth it. No matter how fast you move. Except for maybe if you have home guards after 20 minutes. But usually you're just rotating mid at that point anyway. Okay, we can try and catch out a fellows here. Oh my god, my attack speed is still so low. Okay. Ooh, that could be good. Yeah, he's just very dead here. Got him. Nice one. Just wanted to make sure to abuse him before Terra got into lane. He shouldn't really be trying to shove in for that reason. By himself. Let's shove this as hard as we can. <clears throat> okay. And now I'm just gonna base because I'm sitting on far too much gold. Sit on. And they'll always weak to range champions, by the way. She shits on melees. She's sort of like Derek in that sense. 
This is how the matchup is against the champion that has a stylistic advantage against her. <laughs> oh, nice to sell us though. <coughs> Damn it. Though the faster I get though it'll the easier it'll be to dodge those. So once I get boots. Nice one. Got one kill, perfect. Leave the whiff. In fact we can go do Drake, we don't I'll just get this cannon, because I don't want to leave the cannon, but yeah. There we go. Hopefully that shouldn't push into us too hard, so I have time to do this Drake and not miss too much farm. Under turret. The downside of doing this is that I don't get the chance to just shove in base, but it's worth it for the Drake. I'm not so low HP that I need to be super worried about basing here. I wouldn't look for an engage. Ooh. Okay, I guess we're getting one though. And we're gonna win it. All good. Now we really need to shove. Was a jungler again? Silas. Hopefully not bot side. If he is, I probably escape anyway with my E. Alright, I'm out of here. I don't even want to bother sticking around for the plating. I just got a lot of gold. I can spend, and I want to spend. I'll wait for another longsword here, and then we can eat out. <coughs> Shouldn't cost me much farm at all. Yeah, that E out of base. So it sub covers like a solid fifth of the distance that it takes you to get back into lane. It's really handy. Wow, Phyllis with the hyper defensive build path. Everyone's played cool and vamps up. They're giving him a ton of sustain. Problem is, we're not really a poke focused lane. We're heavily all in focused. Whenever Swain lands a knee, that's her cue to just go in and kill them, you know? It's not poke. Ooh, I should have hit that slow. Oh well. Still forced to flash. Although I think he wouldn't have been hit by that anyway. I'll go ahead and play some vision. We see Salas mid, but we could do with some vision in the long run anyway. Fuck, I can't see if he's using E. Okay, here we go. This should be a good fight now that he missed that. Nice one. You know, FLS has no flash, so... I don't see the need for something cold there, but... It's fine. We're alone here? Well, clearly there's somebody there, but... As long as it's not two people, we should be fine. I'm just gonna hold on to my E just in case, though, because either way, we're late enough into the game that I can wave clear fine with E, even if... Without E, sorry, even if it's a little bit slower. Just use this to get some vision. He's still actually here, but he seems to be alone. There we go. It's a shame. I would have got the plating if not for going for that pink, but just wanted to be sure that we weren't overextended against like a Salas Tristana gank. Okay, perfect amount of gold to base on. I almost couldn't get either Vamps up or Quick Cloak. Uh, Sol or sorry, Tarek was mid, wasn't he? Yeah, the thing is, I can't just aggressively dash forward into Phyllis's face because, yeah, for all I know, they're all on the river, waiting to collapse on me.
Oh no. Focus six. Oh, but he already used the mid, didn't he? Perfect. Oh my god, that was a close one. <laughs> so close. Okay, solo plating. Oh god, yeah, just thought I could be on the way. Should I stop? Now, if we can hide in a brush, I think we can one shot her. I need to keep my fully charged passive. Still tempted to use my passive to last hit there, but no, just want to keep it. In case we need to burst her stunner down or anything like that. I'd rather he doesn't freeze, but I think he's just clearing the way for himself anyway. Nice one. Okay, we'll grab this thing. Ah, god damn it. My bad. You're not even meant to fail that, by the way. It's very easy to not, to not fail it. I don't know what's wrong with me today. You can definitely just cut it on a smaller margin, but then you don't get as much distance out of your E. Just got shaky hands, I guess. Fighting from a life out here in silver gold MMR. Okay, this time I'm pretty sure they're all mid. The great thing about arriving into lane with the uh, overheal up and having taken no damage is that the moment you attack anybody you immediately get your overheal and that gives you a movement speed boost to keep chasing them down with it, it's especially effective here because the fellas himself also had an overheal so even if i didn't have overheal i was still gonna always charge up my passive and get more movement speed out of it so he loves playing against overheal at least if she's gonna be playing aggressively Literally just a free movement speed boost for her. Yeah, I'll go play some vision, play it safe. <laughs> Let's go for some poke. Nice red. Let's just Q W auto. And I think another auto maybe. Okay. I was considering popping ghost, but I felt like it would be a waste if he would just flash anyway. And he dies either way, awesome. We'll use E now just to shove this way faster, I assume it's safe. I'm assuming I got 5 gold for pinging that. <clears throat> I'm just gonna base now. See that's looking very clean. Oh, that's not what I meant to buy. There we go. Gonna get red and then see if I can help mid at all. Nah, Garen's out of here. Just gonna do Raptors. There's not much else to do here at the moment.
No way, otherwise I'd just dash on Tristana right now. We'll play it safe, just in case Tarek wanted to flash there. Tristana can't catch me. And she's dead. Perfect. So is Tarek. Just pointless trying to chase a Zeri. If, you, if you're already out of her range, you're never going to get back into her range. And all you're going to accomplish by chasing her is she's going to keep whacking you with the Qs. She's got really low for no reason there. But that's why you build so much Zeri uh, so much move speed on Zeri, so you can abuse those kind of situations. You can easily cut range champions. And once you have lethal tempo proc and you're fast enough, you can even just keep walking into them and keep hitting them and keep kiting them, and they'll never be able to get in your range, but you can constantly get into theirs. Got him. <gasps> the minion block! Dude, that was so close to dying because I got minion block twice. Got them. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm just gonna do Bloodfist or throw it again. Oh wait, what? Oh no, I don't have the gold for that. Never mind then, I'll do this. Yeah, I think the Bloodfist or throw is pretty legit though, but... I'd rather just, at the moment, I'll just focus on which, uh, whichever build path is going to be best for me. Ram Scepter and BF Sword was what I actually wanted to do, so that would be um, 2200 gold that I needed, not 1900. I was mixing it up with the cost of BF Sword and Quick Look, which is also pretty decent base, but mainly if you actually want to go something that builds out of BF Sword. But not out of this. I actually don't have shield bow. I need to flash. My bad. <laughs> I can't. The worst part is I can't actually even auto when he silenced me. Apparently, I didn't think about that. I say auto as in Q, you know. There is form of auto attacks. Maybe I would have been fine if he didn't have ignite. I think Ignite just barely made it so the ex so the ultimate wasn't executed, and if I didn't get executed, then I would have been fine. I should have led with the ultimate as well. I need to be faster than him, so he can't reach me. The moment he reached me, it was all over. Well, those sort of aggressive plays are also why, like, Bloodthirster, I think, is so good on Zeri. If you're tankier, then you can get away with doing stuff like that. Whereas your damage is less relevant if you can just constantly kite in and out. And, and, like, you can just chase people down no matter how far, you know? The important thing is that you can survive doing so. Speed of killing them doesn't matter too much, so long as you know that you will eventually kill them anyway. It's the same logic for why, when, if you saw that Jin video I did, I was also doing Bloodthirster on him with the speedy build. Instead of Infinity Edge towards the end of the video. Because I was like, yeah, I mean, they're dying anyway. It's a matter of when, not a matter of if. So that sounds like Bloodthirster Mix is better then, so I can actually survive. I feel so tempted to dash in there. God, this Garen is even faster than he was before now when he caught me. Cause it's got a whole new dead man's now. We should be able to also get this in hub. Nice one. 
pop the ghost. Oh, shit. Dude. I'm fucked. <laughs> Dude, my bad. Hang on. What went wrong there? I suppose I should have counted the Tristana harder. I thought it would burst it down harder. So I took more damage than necessary there. But that wasn't the main thing. So here. I think it's fine to approach them here. Maybe I should have just gone for a fellow so it was closer though. Although that would put me closer to the range. I accidentally autoed this when I was trying to move backwards. Very awkward. Yeah, the main thing is that I clicked this back. So I just end up standing still here when I was supposed to be kiting. This E barely put any distance. I should have E'd over the inhib. And then I was also queuing the inhib instead of a champion, which didn't reset my ultimate. Oh, let's click that. Uh, I could do it with red. It's all good, buddy. Take it. You deserve it. Anyway, at least we forced the Solace Flash to finish this off, but I think we probably were going to die there anyway. Probably. I mean, I don't know. It depends on whether my, my ultimate actually reset or not. I didn't quite ask whether it did. But it, uh, because I accidentally queued the inhibit instead of the champions, for sure, it meant that at least I wasn't getting my ultimate movement speed. Which is bad. And if it had been so long that my ultimate just straight up ran out, then that was really bad and I wouldn't have had any, any chance to survive. She shouldn't have run there. Ooh, now she's dead. Oh man. Okay, fellas is purple. I gotta watch out for that. I don't wanna trade up front with him right now. I don't wanna get rooted. Oh, we can just get this in hip. Oh, and the bottom in hip. There we go. No more in hit for me to misclick. Holy fuck, she does so much damage no matter what. <laughs> now nah, there's no way. <laughs> okay, he survives. <laughs> nice one, GG. Yo, what up gamers, we are back for another game of Zeri the Diamond. This time we're going to be playing Zeri Blitzcrank into Kale and Morgana. And I'm actually going to do it. I'm running Ghost Cleanse. Cleanse will be really good against the Morgana. Kale in the lane will be decent against the Morgana. Or sorry, the Central Lake game. Okay, against the Renekton Lake game. Well, the Ghost is just going to be good because it's good. Obviously, flash overall would be more useful than cleanses, but the, the in terms of like the actual usage. But uh, when you consider the cooldown, it might just be better to have the lower cooldown cleanse. So that's where we're going to be testing this game. Flashless Ziri. Oh, that's not good. I, I have no way of attacking them there. <laughs> they can't uh, back up blitz for shit. <clears throat> Damn it. Nice try. Probably could have done with swapping these around though, because I'm more used to having Ghost on F from playing Ghost Junglers than I am uh, having Cleanse on F, which I've literally never done in my life. Well, he's dead, I think. Hmm, yeah. I want to disengage from Kaelin here since she has a fully stack lethal tempo and I don't.
shot. Quick speed, quick trigger. Just gonna play on the defensive now. We'll be able to strike back again later, but probably not until we've based. They'll probably look to base now. Thankfully, Azir, it's very easy to loss under the turret. Even with the, even if Blitz weren't helping. If anything, it's complicating things, but we still get all of them. Uh, we can try and crash this as fast as we can. See how this works. Okay, it's not, definitely not as fast as it can be later on, but... Gets the job done. Yeah, it is really fast crash. Also, holy crap, that Morgana gank. Well played from her. <coughs> I think we'll go ahead and level... Or, no, we'll take uh, this. Yeah, okay, this is good. So I was thinking um, I would take vamps up there so I can have some sustain against their Baltan, which is heavily poke-focused. But uh, we can actually do coal for some sustain, some smaller amount of sustain for now, and then we can do the, coal, the vamps up there later, and we'll have three different sources of sustain. Like your fellow's last game. Except we have more use for it than he did. Since we're actually facing a poke champion in Morgana. And sort of in... Sorry, Caitlyn I meant. But also a little bit in Morgana with her Q. Relentless uh, W poke. <coughs> nice damage there. Yeah, but sadly we had no window to actually abuse Caitlyn for the Morgana room. Since Morgana got back into lane so fast. Also, what is she starting this for? What? That's weird. We don't have any sustain, like, aside from the sustain that I'm going to build. We don't have the summoner heal, we don't have a healing support. That's a weird choice. Yeah, sadly, we are a little bit countered in this lane because Morgana's pretty good against Blitzcrank. It's not th responsible for how the lane went so far, though. That was mainly just on Blitz playing bad. Sadly, not in position to clear that. The great thing about Colon's area, by the way, is that I can only just barely graze a, a CS, and it'll still give me the full three healing from it, whereas. Percentage-based lifesteal choices like Thorn's Blade and Vamp Scepter, they depend on how much damage you deal. So if you miss, or you know, almost entirely miss, but still hit a little bit, you barely get any healing. Alright, I need to disengage. Obviously, still not, not overall as much healing as Vamp Scepter would be, but... It's something, and then later on we'll get the benefit from both of them. I can chug a potion for now. Use some tread. I wonder if they're getting a Vigank or something. They are. Because <laughs> they've been focused on shoving us under threat all the time, which I'm happy with because, as I said, you know, Zerif lost it under threat very easily. And then all of a sudden they started freezing. Oh, oh that's so annoying, man. My bad. Yeah, they're gonna do Drake. Probably just need to let that happen. Hmm, I mean, I suppose we could try and contest here. Okay. Well, we force her flash. I can't really do anything else unless... 
No, I just want to stay in lane. Keep farming. Because nothing else is guaranteed to happen. And if it does happen, it's not guaranteed to be a win for my team. So I'm like going to no eat to farm now, though. Well, to shove this in. Okay, nice. We still did in a timely manner, though. I won't bother going for that plating, though. I just want a base. Very good room timing from Blitzcrank. Same timing as the Morgana had before. His ADC is basing. He doesn't actually need to base himself. Rather than sitting around in lane by himself, he's just going to go gank. Good enough. Okay, Caitlyn, no flash. I forgot to ping that, but it's important for my team to know. Leave him type it. Sadly, his gank wasn't as successful as Morgana's gank. Now he's gonna have to base and I'll be alone for a bit. But thankfully, the wave is pushing towards us, which is, again, part of what made that gank such good timing, because I should be pretty safe here under turret by myself. Can we get kill in here? Hmm, probably not. Morgana's there too. Ooh, go for Caitlyn. I don't want to steal it from him. <laughs> Just want to make sure he gets it. Our blitz is on the way, so we won't be alone here for too long. Wait, I didn't want that to go through the wall, though. That was just meant to direct shot at her. Oh, well. Okay. I assume Yoni had his reasons for pinging us off. I'm going to trust that there's actually people around trying to gank us. Nice juke. That's fine, we get rooted, but most of the root just happens during the wall anyway, and while they can't reach me. Gun. Fuck, I need to get out of here. Oh no. Might have been a really good fight, if not for the, for the, sorry, for the Vigank. We'll just wait for you to come up since we're waiting for HP anyway. Okay, yeah, Vi's gonna be going for Gromp. Might be worth trying to disrupt her there. I'm gonna miss most of the farm anyway, so I would suggest just doing this. Oh, I missed. That's bad. Okay. Nice one. We got her. Good shit, Blitz. Well played. Shove this as fast as we can. I got my E. Awesome. At least my farm is really good. We're doing a pretty good job of keeping up and we'll eventually also kill the Caitlyn. Eventually. I say eventually because she got a lead so it's gonna take a while. It would be easier if she didn't. That was really bad. I'm probably dead here. 
<laughs> Morgana did not need to flash, I was dead no matter what. My bad, my bad. I was gooding for the cannon. <laughs> and then, yeah, that was just no reason to get caught up by that either. Grab a dagger. Okay, they just need to disengage her. Ooh, nice one. This should definitely be roaming there while I just go for free farm here. Man, how does Kaelin keep getting everything? I hope she dies there. Okay, didn't quite die, but at least my team overall won the fight, I would say. She has six kills and zero assists. If only every my 80, winning ADC game would be like that. Winning lane. Uh, I suppose we can pressure him 2v1. That was desperate. I can't really go for the turbo now, I need, I need to focus on pressuring Renekton. Let's go. Oh. Oh man. Okay, she lived. Or it died, brother. Come on. I need vision. Oh, come on. Yes, thank you, Blitz. No, no, fuck. Brother, we're gonna. Q just comes in time. Oh well. At least we get the shield bow, don't have to sell anything. Meanwhile, Jax. Oh man, that Renekton is super behind by the way, I just noticed. He he's actually got kills though, but... I mean, compared to the Jax, I mean, Jesus. He's doing really well for himself. Yeah, we used the... Lens in that fight, just on removing the Morgana exhaust, since she was going to remove a lot of damage if we didn't cleanse that. We'll just force the bot lane again here. Hopefully Yone doesn't die here. Yeah, you should be fine. Is Vi going to try and burst the streak? No, she's not. She's probably going to go for red or golems, I can't tell which. Vi going on here, but I can't join. There's just too much free farm for me here. I want to shove two waves, and then we decide whether we want to rotate mid, or contest Drake if they start that, or just keep on pushing bot for the turret. I'm thinking I'll probably have to rotate mid, or I don't know. I'll lose this turret. Okay, well they're trying to defend it, I'll probably have to leave. Oh, hello, Gragas. That could be good. Nice one. I got Caitlyn too. Awesome, that's really good. Let's get the streak. That should be GG, honestly. No way they come back from this. We have the better skill in comp and we just hard stomp the fight. <coughs> Gives us a solid kill lead now. 
Man, if Jax wasn't going to fight this a bit in this fight, I wish he would have just kept pushing pop because now I'm going to rough to no farm here. Oh well. Damn it. In the end, I have the same farm as Jax and the same kills. Pretty much. All I have is less turrets. Uh, I need to get out of here, actually. I need... One more wave. So that I can get Renan's without having to sell coal. Which I may as well not if I can get away with not doing it. And apparently I can just call Syndra for that as well. <laughs> she apparently doesn't even remove my shield though. Okay. I'm just spacing. Whatever we build next, it'll build out of a long sword. Could do blue buff, could do red. I think I'll do blue. Inform whatever camps I can find on the way there. Not the Grump though. Grump is too out of my way. <coughs> Actually, if there's gonna be no farm for me mid anyway, I may as well have. Kill it now though. Guess I could do Scuttle Crab. Yeah, that's worth it. Scuttle Crab is worth about a hundred gold, so it's really nice. An enemy has been slain. I think it gives more gold than most camps. Every camp except maybe golems is what I believe. Could be wrong though. Um, yeah, we should probably push mid, I guess. It's so easy for any of them to defend though. Yeah, Morgana's already here. Well, let's see, they took a while to start recalling on bot lane. Just need to make sure I'm not accidentally shooting Morgana so I don't get aggro. Alright, awesome. Out. I'll get out of here just in case. Smatter that a bit early. Should I rotate there? I think I can. There we go. Ow. At least we keep the shield bow. Ow. I'm gonna live, but... Oof. Have to dash through here. I think Bliss is fucked. I should have just kept pushing mid. Even though there was only three at three top initially, they, they obviously had more people alive than that, so we weren't gonna be able to fight 3v5. <coughs> um, what should I go for here? I think Bloodthirster is good. I would do Navori, but Navori won't do much to save me from the Vi, for example. So I'll try and be able to just survive all their burst. The only thing about doing this Bloodthirster overheal combo against Renekton, though, is that is empowered W, you can just remove shields. Oh god. Oh no. I don't know if I should have done this. Uh, I did the wrong thing. I fucking predicted this would happen. Dude, I meant to use Ghost! Damn it! Ah, oh, I got confused. I cleansed for no reason. Oh, that blows. But no, I was way too greedy jumping in there. Would have been okay if I could actually finish off the buy. But uh, I did I did it too late. I hesitated, I hesitated too much, and even if I'd done it, like, sooner, if I just queued away as soon as she could, I still wouldn't even kill her. I would basically be praying that she made a mistake, so it was not smart to do. If anything, what I could do is, like, dash around here and pressure them from behind. But I can't dash in front of them here, where I have no escape, you know? 
That's just not smart. Uh, what about this Drake? We can get this Drake, right? Hopefully. And Krax is well out of position now. We might just have to give it up. Wait, what do you- Wait, do they have objective bounties? Wait, how do they have objective bounties when they have a kill lead? Is it just because Renekton is so far behind in farm? <laughs> I mean, Kaelin is also behind in farm. Sindra's behind in farm. Okay, so they all suck at farming, that's why they get- Wait. Okay, nice. Yeah, they all suck at farming, so they get bounties. Awesome. <laughs> Oh man, maybe I should have uh, eat sooner. Nice, I didn't mean to hit that, but it, it was good. Why am I so slow? Did my ultimate run out? How? No, my, my ultimate is still active. What? Didn't feel like it was working on the Renekton. Jesus. Maybe it's just because I was slowed by Rylies. No, she's trying to bait me. I need to keep walking away. She's never actually gonna let me kill her. Wow, but she will let Yoni kill her. Cool. Wait, so we are gonna get the Drake in the end, aren't we? Ooh, almost went to me. Let's get it, let's get it. <coughs> yeah, at the, at the start of the fight, I think I was just wasting my time too much, focusing the Renekton. I could actually probably just ignore him and just go on whoever Jax was diving on, and that would be more useful. Because I think Renekton had no cooldowns anyway, so I had a limited window where I could just ignore him. We should have taken advantage of that. Oh, hello. Who's there? Caitlyn. Ooh! No! No! What the- What the fuck? I didn't notice the trap. Mmm. Damn it. No, you don't need to block it. No, went way too far forwards, my bad. No, I can't reach him. Guys, there's still a Renekton around. Just hope you all know that. Oh god! I'm out of here. Little boss conform though. Ah, uh, That <laughs> pushed him right into Gragas. Okay, we got the Drake, right? Yeah, we did. Oh yeah. Alright, let's get this red buff. Can also do the... Raptors, I would say. <coughs> okay, uh, sorry. Jax will go top. I'll let him do that. I'll just go... Clear this ward. Otherwise, I do raptors. No I can still do the raptors. Actually, I probably should have just done the raptors anyway, because it puts me closer to bot lane where there is some action going. I don't know if there was action going on at the time, but it might have been. Uh, the, my team was already there, right? So there was the only chance where there might be action, I guess. I don't think they had time to react to Jax being there. Oh, do very little damage right now. Or at least it's a very tanky buy anyway. Wait, I'm dead. Damn it, I couldn't finish off the turret because she was blocking the shots. I should have just eat, I guess. I should have eat. So my shots would actually go through her. My bad. I knew that it would be stupid to just not take the turret there, but I definitely couldn't just let her block my shots and get turret aggro in the process. That's fine, they have no objective to take. Next objective is up in 50 seconds. I think I'll have to go Lord Dominix now instead of Navori. I don't know, because uh, Renekton is already building some armor as well. He's got Tabis and Chain Vest. We got Tabis and Iceborne on Vi. 
Zuri these days is a lot of physical damage since they removed they converted a lot of her physical or sorry converted a lot of her magical damage into physical damage so armor pen a lot more worth it on her these days in the past I would have never built or Dominic's on her but it should be good now <coughs> okay that's a good fight nice that's right before Baron. I don't think I don't think Jack should be splitting. I think he should just directly come top. Because he doesn't have time to actually pressure. But it's gonna take him forever to actually get to that bot lane turret to start pushing. Gragas, we should be doing this. Like at the very least see if we can cheese it, you know? I do zero damage literally though, goddamn. Like, if they're not going to contest, then it's just free Baron. Yeah, it's just free. Don't even need to zone by away, we just get it. Nice one. No, I didn't need to get hit by that. My bad. Ooh. Okay, he got him. Barely. This all would have been so much easier with Jax with us, though. But I guess we did manage to, like, basically win the fight. Or at least go even in it. So now it pays off. But if we just lost the fight, they just recall and deal with Jax. And he accomplished nothing, you know? That's why it was such a risk for him to go for this. So we get to keep three Baron buffs, it seems, as well as an inhib. Yeah, next time I definitely need to swap these around. I'm so not used to having cleanse on F, man. <laughs> every like because I have no flash. Every time I want to run, want to use Ghost, I just think F, F. Gotta press F because that's what I use Ghost on jungle with. Uh, yeah, we need to go to Dominic's now. Or... Actually, no, I think Dumbore is fine. I get, like, I think the reason... Hmm. Yeah, I think the reason why I'm doing no damage is literally just because I chose to go Bloodthirster, not necessarily because they have high armor. Because even against the Baron, I wasn't doing any damage. Oops. Thank you, Blitz. No <laughs> reason to take that CS, but whatever. It's only one, I'll forgive it. Man, I would have had so much more damage at a last stand this game. I swapped to Kudagra this game because last game I noticed last stand didn't do much. And this game I'm, I'm fighting on low HP so much I know last stand would have done a lot and Kudagra hasn't done much. <coughs> I think they're both decent on Zeri, but I don't know which is more consistent. Okay, that's good. We don't need to keep pushing here. We can just go top. Oh my god, that Gragas damage. Got him. There we go. <laughs> no. <laughs> GG. Yo, what up, gamers? We are back. Another game of Zerith the Diamond. We probably lose this fight. Uh, actually, it's not too bad. Not bad. Get me out, get me out. Don't get me out. I'm all good. 
Vayne had cleansed there, didn't she? I don't think she used it. Oh, she did use it. Okay. This is one to fight while being down a combat summoner then, I guess. Let's try and crash this. Ooh. Oh, by the way, I forgot. Uh, I've actually got a hard counter to Zyra this game. Zeri passive one-shots Zyra plants. Literally one-shots them. The passive doesn't have to be fully charged. Any minor hit from your passive one-shots Zyra plants. Look at that. You see that? Those plants are th f like a free three gold for us all game long. I'm out of here. Hope that my base doesn't get cancelled. Good, good. After a great start, we'll wait for my E to come up. There we go. Look how far ahead of Lulu I am. And she has boots. <laughs> oh, Va Ooh, dude, Vayne started cold. That's actually a big reason why she lost that fight. Cold start is fine, but you gotta acknowledge you're gonna be like weaker in fights early on than you should be. Ah, I just barely missed this cannon. I've had nine gold that I've counted so far from Zara Plants. <clears throat> I was watching a ch actually a challenge ADC, by the way, play Zara against Zara. I don't know, like a week ago, two weeks ago. And even they didn't, like, the, every time they were trying to kill Zara Plants, they kept doing, auto, like, Q auto. They didn't even know that you can just one-shot them. I think most Zara players don't realize that. Nice one. Good shit, good shit. Whoa, Lulu. Oh, she gets the kill. Nice one. I don't, I wouldn't say that was worth it, though, but... Good, good on you, girl. You get that man, that, that, that bag of money. You get that money. Does Nocturne think I don't know he's there? What's annoying about this is that I am not going to be allowed to use my E to wave clear here, otherwise he could flash on me. I don't actually want to reveal him there, I just want to clear this wave faster. Without using my E. Uh, I'm playing with fire here. He actually got the fear off of me. If he'd just been willing to flash for me, I would have been dead. I forgot about that. Whoops. You can still fear me through the wall. This wave is fucked. Nothing I can do about it. We gotta let it be. I think I'll still grab a coal and... Get this. Why not? Oh man, that Olaf, no way he lives there. Got him, Kane. Nice, he got he. It's a free kill. And Cloud gets assist. Thank God. I mean, his lane isn't too doomed. Like, his Olaf doesn't have that big a lead. If he plays safe, he should be fine. It's not like Olaf should be able to just keep diving him into turret over and over with that lead. There's just no point even casting Q at them because your passer just one shots them. <laughs> An enemy has been slain. Unless there's literally three of them, then it's worth to Q one of them. Damn, too late. Anyway, we're running flash this game. Plans would have been okay ag again against the Zyra, but we don't want to be flashless against Nocturne. <coughs> Got 
God damn, Vayne is fast there. <laughs> Between the Berserkers and her buffed passive. So we'll just freeze here. We don't really want to push in a lane like this because you don't get too much advantage for shoving them under turret. We're not that great at pressuring them under turret. And we don't want to put ourselves at a risk of a Nocturne gank. It's not accomplished much under turret anyway. Okay, Nocturne currently top. Uh, I'm not doing much here. Okay, I did 200 damage to her though. I guess we'll crash this. Oh man. Oh shit. No, now I'm dead. God damn it. Oh, that blows. How did I get stunned? And Zara lives. I do think that was an ambitious dive, but should have been. Yeah, I mean, we even knew the Nocturne was level 6 and he hadn't used ult yet. And he just made a play top, so his next natural place was to come bot. It was really not a great time to go aggressive there. Oh, look how close I was to 6, too. Damn. Oh, this could be good. Ooh, Vex. Nice one. <laughs> Lulu playing the long con. Yeah, that vein is so fucked. <laughs> nice one, good shit. Nice one. Yeah, we'll just keep freezing here. I have no need to base here. I can thin this out a little bit, though. There's, I want her to base because there's no point in her sitting here soaking up my XP when she's sitting on no HP and no mana, you know? No items as well. She's taxing me for no reason if she stays. We want her to actually base so she can become useful again because at the moment she's not useful with that HP and mana. There we go. Stop. <laughs> okay, perfect. That's an entire wave miss for Vayne. Ah, uh, missed the Q. Pretty nice also is that we could, with the E we can actually AoE the plants with the Q. Missed my fucking auto. There we go. Okay, so I didn't quite catch where Nocturne ulted, but I know he ulted, so we don't have to watch out for that at least. I think I want to just keep walk dashing forwards for these Q auto trades. <clears throat> oh, is there a pink in there? Sounds like a job for Ziri. We'll just keep charging up the passive since I just used it. There we go. Play some vision. There he is. Ah. God damn it. Okay, well, I'm not getting stunned here. No! 
Oh fuck, should have been fine. Was this, yeah, I was slowed by Stridebreaker. That threw me off. He's so close. Oh wow, he actually gets her just that easy. Doesn't even have to throw his W. Cool. What's the wave stay like? Uh, it's not a disaster. In fact, it would actually be good if they just would have focused the meal instead of the casters. Yeah, that's actually unlucky that it's not pushing towards us. Oh well. It's not a big deal either way, it's about evenish anyway. Actually, the wave will also arrive sooner, so it is pushing towards us now. Because now what happens is that they get one more caster than we do. And so they have their wave is more DPS than my wave. But it happened too late to have much of much of an influence over the lane anyway. <coughs> That's fine. Probably shouldn't have tanked the last shot, but it will. At least Fane is low, and I have shield bow still. I shouldn't have used my passive, I want to use that to dive soon. It's fine, I've still got it. That was way off. Got him. Oh, hello. No, oh, fuck, what did I die to? How did I die to Zyra? It must have been a Zyra auto? How did I die to Ignite? Oh, unlucky. Yeah, didn't expect the Solace gank, but as far as the ganks go, it was pretty decent. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, at least Kane lives. He's got a shutdown. Actually, don't know which is better between double dagger and brick cloak on Zary. I guess both are decent. I'll just shove this and see if I can join mid in time. Definitely can't counter gank, but maybe... Just maybe, I can gank. Damn it! Come on, man! Oh, terribly. Okay, nice. Double kill. Just a shame that I couldn't also get Nocturne. But oh well, nobody has a shot down there anyway. Doesn't matter who I kill so long as I get kills. Ooh, one CS off of Cole. Can't fucking see, is it worth running? No, okay, it's definitely not. <laughs> Unlucky Lolo. That was stupid of Nocturne to go on me though, like if, if Lulu played that perfectly, she should have just realized that I was gonna escape. And she should have just ran, saved herself. And I would save myself. Oh well, all good. But yeah, when you're playing against Nocturne, no matter what ADC you're playing, going through walls is pretty much always the counterplay to him. It's almost impossible for him to retain his E on you when you're going through a wall. Whether it's a long dash through a wall like Zeri, or whether you just like flash over this wall, for example, as a Felios, every time it's gonna break the tether. Enemy 
try and help out here. Oh, I'm going to melee range. This better work out. Ah, it's fine. I don't think I want to flash after him. <laughs> what? Okay. Oh, hello. Ah, but I'm so screwed here. Like, what? What if it collapse? That was unexpected. Damn it. Nobody showed on midline as far as I could tell. <clears throat> oh, we did see Vayne briefly on mid lane. And I must have then seen her go into the brush. No, actually, she just skipped out of vision there. We also saw Nocturne slide to the left. But yeah, when you're in the middle of combat or in the middle of a chase, details can be missed. They had no reason to assume that I would stick around for the red buff though. And I never saw Zyra on the map. That's for sure. I should have just blue trinketed there though, to be safe. Blue trinketed here. Before especially before risking using my E. My E there was just way too overconfident that they weren't there. I clearly had no idea whether they were there or not. Alright, get me out of here. Get <laughs> Alton, I didn't. Um. Hello. How the fuck did he get here? So fast. Oh, shit. I guess she'll build back up, so if I get hit by anything, it's fine. Nice one. I think we'll do Navori Rush this time. Well, Navori Third, rather, instead of Bloodthirster. A Bob Ghost. And I'm alive. Thank you. Should have been able to hit her there, my bad. Okay. No, she crept me. No, I would have been fine. Oh well. Okay. Still a bad decision to, for her to go for, I would say. Oh, well, except well, she got a shutdown, but only a small one. Oh, gonna pay off a flow of dice here, though. <laughs> the little is actually clean. Yeah, Nocturne mainly needs to be ulting me whenever I don't have E up, because his ultimates keep failing whenever I have E. That's why I want to go to Vori, so I have maximal uptime on the E. Oh, he's going to be ulting somewhere here. There. We're pathing here. Ooh, just barely got him in time. Nice one. Could've got mid. Could've got that mid turret. My bad. I'm gonna stay there for it. We'll also want to get the streak soon. Mm. Should I stick around for the turret? It's a little bit of a risk. Nice, but Vayne loses the trade, so as long as I don't ignore her. Asshole. You're never gonna kill me. Except now you might kill me. He might actually kill me. No, I'm good. Still got my in case I need it? Nobody's through here. 
I didn't need to dash through so far, my bad. Ah! Ooh, not even close. <laughs> Holy crap. Good shit, good shit. We should be getting objectives, I'm just... Getting farmed because somebody could get farmed, but... Uh, I guess we'll go for Drake. I definitely can't push Bob or mid by myself, but... I guess I could get this ball turret when my team gets the Drake. A bit overkill to have all of us on the Drake. Might have also been able to do Baron, but well. I shouldn't use the, I don't know where Nocton is. If I get blue trinketed and ulted by Nocton now, I'll probably die. <clears throat> Alright, I'm out. Where is he? There. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> okay. Wild then. Yeah, let's go do the burn. I'll tank it up. There we go. Could have pushed top actually. Would have been better to push top over mid. Okay. No, oh, what? What the? Oh, I got fucking rooted. Fuck. That sucks. Should have been fine if I didn't get rooted because I could just deal away from the knocked loot there. Oh well. Next up, gonna be Bloodthirster. What? Did I misclick something? Oh, I Clicked pickaxe, I want to do BF sword. <laughs> I think I should have just flashed through the wall there, by the way. I took far too much damage here from the vein when and I couldn't afford to just commit to fighting her back because she had two allies near her that I needed to escape from. This was fine though, that was another extension from Vein. Yeah, getting hit by the Zara it was unideal. Should have flashed through the wall sooner, even before I saw Zara, because I was gonna have to eventually anyway. <clears throat> Could have sold my Doran's Blade for a Vamp Scepter, my bad. Probably gone for me. Isn't he? Okay. Nice one. The doll off I have ult the whole time because I should have ulted ages ago. Alright, that's gonna be GG, I hope. Kin died 1v1 to vein. I guess. Oh no no no, he killed some like two people there. Oh no, Vex. <laughs> Alright, maybe not GG. I'll just leave for now. Fuck, I'm gonna lose this. Ah, and I got stunned. Fuck, that sucks. My bad. 
Yeah, I don't think I actually beat Vayne 1v1 right now. Definitely... Not against the wall, at least. I think, because for, for her, for sure, Infinity Edge would be better. I have no not much use for a spammable cooldowns against Vayne. Navori is mainly for kiting on Zeri. For the pure damage, you would do better with Infinity Edge. <coughs> on Infinity Edge, maybe I could actually stand a chance of beating Vayne. I don't really need Lord Dominic, so I'll just go for more attack speed, movement speed. Two of X. Okay, at least you chunked Bane. Could be good for us. Nocturne isn't just rushing Drake, is he? No. Let's go for Drake then. Okay, I gotta say, it certainly does <laughs> does help to have ult up against Vayne, because uh, ult also does a lot more damage with Navori. I actually do crazy damage to her if I have ult up. Alright, they're gonna surrender, so GG. Yo, what a gamers, we are back with another game of Zeri to Diamond. This time we're going to be playing Zero Renata into Verasteric. So this time we actually have a pretty good bot lane for cutting the Terek, and even in the previous one, still had an easy time against him despite the Swain pulling him into us. Sure beats a Blitzcrank pulling him into us though. Renata going to be standing with no flash because of a level 1 invade. Just hit Terek since he's nearest. I'm gonna switch to Varus when we can actually hit him. I'm gonna try and beat them. Well, I at least smash them to the level two. There we go. There we go, we level the E, so it makes it very easy to dodge the Terra keys. Alright, not bad. Already off to a really good start on this lane. It's pretty natural, I mean, this Terra, like, Terra is a hyperscaling support pretty much. It does have some decent matchups and Timely supports, but... Yeah, matchups like these against Renata, against Enchanters in general. Not really his forte. Gonna be getting ganked by, who is that, Gregus? Yeah, I wanna... Ah, but I have to go with the fucking cannon, man. Pressing. I use Ghost here. Try and punish him more. God, I'm hitting nothing. What? Okay, Tarek chose a bad time to engage. But I can't hit him. Ah, dude. Man, I'm so close. Okay, I got him. No! We still just barely died. Do I get Gragas? Come on, no! 7 HP, man. One minion hit would have killed him. Oh, man. So fucking close. Oh, well. Let's see. I'm sure I could have done something better there. What was it? What was it? I mean, it was a long fucking fight. I'm sure I made a lot of mistakes overall. I was considering, fla like, flash Q auto queuing Varus there, but I don't think it kills him. Uh, maybe here I should have done it, because then I probably also killed Tarek. I've still got my E to dodge the Tarek E. And I, th I think if I think if I do that, then it's a double kill, and then it would be worth actually dying. Okay, at least this waste was really good for us actually overall. It's not too bad. Power. 
So yeah, once Ferris turned on me, that's when the move should have been to Q auto Q. Since this is a lot of burst once you've got the charge passive. At least, well, he is massively outforming the Gragas. Already took one of his camps. Okay, we'll just keep the minions here. Don't want to let that go under turret if we can avoid it. Basically, the closer we are to the turret, the harder it is for Tarek to actually do anything. Even if he's not an engaged support, he still needs to be you know, his melee, so. It's not like the closer we are to the turret, the less room he has to like chase us and fight us. Like the sooner he would have to back off, you know. Is he gonna go place a ward? I can clear that. Or is he gonna place one? Or is it just. I guess he wanted to face check and clear the pink if there was one. <clears throat> okay, we've got Lily bot side, and we know they have no vision here. They might have vision in the river, though. Okay, Grace Caesar. Scuttle fight. Not gonna be able to kill Gregus. Ooh, should we rotate here? No, my team just needs to give that up, I think. They're getting unnumbered. Uh. Mm, nah, I shouldn't have bothered. I need to just cut the Tarek. I couldn't actually hit Varus there. Oh, no. Nah, I shouldn't have done it. My bad. But I couldn't hit Tarek there without Eing, and I couldn't E because then I would have no way to kite the Tarek, right? I, ca I, like, I can't dash into Tarek's face or he's going to be DPSing me and we're going to hard lose that. So, I really should have just played it more defensively. As much as it sucked to just let Renata get hit there, when usually in most matchups you could hit them back, it was just not really possible there. <clears throat> yeah, face tanking Tarek is really bad because he does a lot of fucking damage. Them. That's why he's so good into melee champs. Why cutting him is so good. I suppose we can try and crash this fast. We can go also go play some vision now. Of the blast cone. Man, Maybe still the wolves with E with W rather. Nice try. Okay. Ah, I just wasted a potion. Oh well. Oh no. Hmm. I like rather Drake because it's not gonna focus me, it's gonna focus Tarek. Alright, let's just dash out. Oh! I need to flush out of here though. Okay. Now they're just gonna do the Drake though. Team? No, that, we shouldn't have been fighting there. That was pretty bad. <coughs> like, I was pathing the way I did because I've got E, right? I'm not gonna get caught out there. Doesn't matter to me, but. He does not have the same liberty. Fuck. Okay, I still get a cannon. Nice. I 
I could play it ultra safe. Can't just rely on dodging that. I mentally lost it though with my passive. Well, I need the base now. Like to shove this, but I can't use E. Like the left is using E by looking up Varus. Okay, this should be a good fight. Okay, we got him. Ah, it's minion. Lock in my shot. Oh well, we got a lot of damage on Tavares there at least. If Renata takes aggro here, we might be able to dive him. I just need to use E. Okay, here we go. No, you're kidding me! He fucking leveled up. Ah, that blows. I also I shouldn't bother fucking eating through the turret. Need to get closer to him. But Mr. Renata also misunderstood what I wanted there. I wanted her to straight up, like, dive and give her life for this. Like, she gave her life anyway, right? That's the thing. She, she tanked the turret until she died. But instead of doing damage the whole time, she hit him once and then left, you know? She had all of her cooldowns up there, didn't she? Look, she has all of her cooldowns up. Everything is up. And she hits him with auto-ignite and leaves. <laughs> Okay, she threw out that as well, at least, but it missed. <laughs> and she still has Q. I, I mean, I imagine she should have also had a revive. Maybe it was on cooldown, but she had everything else up. It's annoying. Oh, well. But I also probably should have been able to kill Varus if I executed it properly and didn't delay so much. We really needed to risk that dive, though, even though it was a bit hard to know for sure whether it would work without proper communication with Renata. But uh, with Varus having that sort of lead, I kind of needed to risk doing that for the shutdown, I think. <coughs> we can try and fight again once I've got ult again. Okay. Come on, he's nearly dead, but I can't finish him. I'm gonna die, sadly. God, that blows. Would have stumped that fight without Gragas there. Almost stumped it despite being Gragas, despite Gragas being there. Or at least would have had one kill from it. Well, it doesn't have ult here, so there's not too much she can do. She might just die. Renata should have stayed as well. This is so troll that uh, she just leaves while she still has the revivability to use on Lilia. Okay, nice. That's one kill. Not bad. I forgot the other base, but a well. She might actually win this now. She should win it. Honestly, she would win that if she goes for it. Well, if she's not gonna go for it, at least leave me the wave. Man. We might want to consider going with Sand at some point this game. Since we're facing basically two assassins, Gragas seems to be building full AP. Maybe we just sneak a turret here. That would be nice. If 
He's gonna have ult. I don't want to risk not getting the turret there. Mm. Oh, there's the Gragas here again. Alright, I'm out of here. Why ignite me, though? Am I hitting him? Surely not. I should have killed him there. Okay, he's dead. Jesus. We should win this fight, though. No. Unfortunately, I was in a bad angle anyway, so even if Maza hurled to them, it would have been really hard for me to follow up. Maybe we can still do something, though. Hmm. That fucking blows. I'll walk around. No, I'll just walk the lane and farm, I guess. Maybe we could force Drake, though. They're all low. We can definitely force this. <coughs> Ooh, okay, good. They can get him. Ooh, they're getting flanked. Okay, this is good. This is huge. Ah, oh, come on. Bro. They just don't die! Okay, finally. Ah, uh, I can't keep going in, though. Can we finally get the drink now? No, it's too risky now, surely. Got a base. Man, every time I'm so close to that 1,000 gold shutdown on Varus, but... No cigar. Would appreciate if she wouldn't take this from, because now I can't take that when I, when I get back into lane now. She has her entire jungle up. Uh, I guess I'll wait for a dagger. There's nothing for me to get on the map right now anyway besides camps. White where I went to wanted to go, but huh, cool. We're forced to grab his flash, even though he didn't really need to flash. Okay, I'll go mid, get some farm there. <coughs> Shove this in. Are they on that? They are. I've got ult up. Nice damage. I won't bother with ult yet. Ah, uh, no, we should have had that though. Nah, I'm so screwed. We should have uh, ghosted. Wait, ah, uh, but we're also doing this without Renekton. The top lane was there, right? Alright, I can't tell. No, he was doing Herald. Nah, that was 4 before then. Well, one issue is that Renata ulted and then nobody went in. <laughs> you have been slain. I wasn't even there yet, though. It was a really bad time to use Renata ult, to be fair. Oh, Lilia. Oh, I didn't even notice Lilia getting one shot there. I got a dagger. It's a tough game. I think the Gragas camp just ruined our lane. First gank already set, off, set us off the bad start, so then we all just barely failed the dive onto Varus, which would have redeemed our lane, and then a third fight got again run by Gragas, and then it was just... Yeah, just a matter of hoping we get carried by the team, but they're also losing. Or they're at least not winning.
Maybe we could cheese the Yorick. I've got ult up in 10. I don't want to start this fight until I do have it. And my Gathering Storm just kicked in. Alright, here we go. He does take zero damage, actually. <laughs> I guess Zero is a pretty bad champion to be behind on. Still got the ultimate active. I'm so dead though. Oh, I'm so close. Do I at least get him? Oh, Mazahar should have him at least. Come on. He didn't use the Q in time. Okay, it's all good. So good. Okay, so at least they don't get that for free. <coughs> okay, the, the rest of their team is going to be doing Baron, which is not worth it. For us, but... I don't suppose we could have ever prevented them getting Baron if they just ran to it anyway. At least hopefully my team got some shutdowns there, right? 300 to Mazahar, so 600 total. I don't think Gragas had one. Oh no, that was the Gragas one. Yorick didn't have one then. Oh, Renekton actually is winning this lane, apparently. Not that you would tell from the state of the turrets. At least in farm he is. I'm gonna risk an E here. Ooh, we should be, <laughs> should be collapsing on Yorick again here, even though- Ooh, shit, that's bad. She's very dead. There's no chance we kill him, we need to defend. <clears throat> Hello. Nope, oh, fuck. We just flashed. Oh, Muzzlehar. <laughs> Why? If anybody, if anybody could flash, it would be a Renata or W, and then if combined with Muzzlehar burst, we could maybe take down Varus in time. But Muzzlehar flash by itself wasn't gonna do anything there. I should have just flashed the Varus ult. Did he flash on me? I think he did. Also, she don't have, uh... Oh, no, it didn't flash on me. I don't know why I got caught out there. Then. That was pretty bad. I guess... Oh, I was surprised by the fact that he was in front of Tarek. That caught me off guard. But I should have, anyway, eat upwards. Because I'm definitely never going to dodge the Varus ult. Just ulting to the side, where he's already aiming at. Because the ult is... Ult range is really long. Okay, yeah, so I think third item this game, I've got to go Infinity Edge, just to make sure I have enough damage to actually be relevant. At the moment, I'm just tickling like a mosquito. Oh. That's not good. <laughs> and Varus had QSS anyway, but they also had Terra it was just terrible. Problem is, I'm not really going to deal damage until I get Lord Dominix either. I'm going to be useless until four items, no matter what. Maybe I, sh maybe I should have gone Infinity Edge second, even. Not Runance. Okay, that could be good. How did I get rid of that? Was that out of the range, man? I'll do what I can, but nothing to do there. Let me see that. I guess I should have ghosted to get out of the range faster, but I thought I would make it. Mm, I guess I was on the edge. Oh well. 
The beginning thing, we're gonna kill Enteric at least. Take our soul point too. Mozart can have it. <laughs> His Voidlings finish it, nice. What? I keep missing. <laughs> I'm gonna go do Raptors and then maybe... Vault lane farm as well. There's no Baron to defend anyway, so... I guess I'll get a speed boost here. Maybe they can make a play on Varus. Some other team might be top, but nah, it seems like they're all mid. So my team shouldn't fight. I can't base, I need to go mid because there's surely about to be a fight based off of their positioning. Okay, they live. There's only just got here. Ooh, nice one. Runners up in 40, they might run base. It would be nice if we could catch them out or something. Found Fizz. Oh, they got the damage there. Oh, that sucks. They just collapsed on top. Okay, we'll push mid for now. If we couldn't get an objective bounty, that would be nice. Actually, I might just need to go Lord Dominic's here for a quicker power spike than Infinity Edge. Cheaper power spike. Okay, we're gonna be fighting here. Bro. Got him. Come on. Got him. Huge. Oh my god, I was fighting forever there. Pretty sure I even had to flash the Gragas barrel there. Oh god. Yeah, I had to flash the fucking Gragas Q. Because if I go slowed there, I'm pretty sure I was fucked. That's why I flashed such a seemingly random thing. Had a lot of momentum there, and the slow from Gragaski would have killed it. Okay, good. It's nice to have that. Skittle vision. Oh god. Okay, Gragas isn't chasing me, thank god. Alright, yeah, let's get this fucking Lord Dominix. I'm not gonna have Infinity Edge in time. <clears throat> Plus, I mean, they have so much armor. Like, even the people that aren't building armor. Uh, like Tarek for or sorry Varus for example is getting a lot of armor from Tarek, so shouldn't be too bad even against their squishies. And a lot of who I'm hitting are just their frontliners anyway. Fuck, they shouldn't be able to get the Baron, but they might. Ah, oh, our, our jungler's just going off for some reason. I'll just give it then. Man, this game could be so much different if we didn't mess up the dive. I guess we can get Drake at least. We should be able to get this Drake. Come on, guys. Rush it, rush it, rush it. Like, my team is just on Baron area for no reason. We're not going to get it in time. We're going to have to fight them for this. Or are we? Okay, perfect. Huge. Just run now. We're not going pushing. Won't be able to do much, though, but... At least he forces them to deal with them, which could take them a while to do. Well, this could be good if the rest of their team aren't here. Nice one. No more ult now. 
Okay. I say disengage. I don't have ult anymore. Wait, I don't... No! No! Damn it. I was about to indefinitely say don't fight until I have ult because I'm useless without ult. And they just fought before I could even do it. <laughs> Yeah, this is for sure an Infinity Edge game. Cutting isn't as important as stealing damage this game, I think. Plus, Infinity Edge will make me more useful when I don't have ult. But either way, I'm still going to be heavily ult reliant. That's just how Zeri is. I might just win now. That's so random. We just... Finally had a good... Uh, we were finally doing decently. We let them have a Baron for free. And then we just let them mace us when they have no ult. Like, come on, guys. They just got three inhibs. It's brutal. <laughs> Is she about to kill him? I hope so. Very not good. I think we need to insta base here. Don't have time to get the red. We'll sell this for this. Nice one. Oh, could be good. I'm dead. Unlucky. Could not be good. <laughs> oh well, GG, we tried our best. It's such a shame. I was literally about to type the call that might have won us the game. And the call was as simple as, don't fight. Couldn't type it in time before my team engaged. Oh well. GG. You what up gamers, we are back for another game of Zeri the Diamond. Starting off with an invade into the enemy jungle. Gonna be playing Zeri Leona into Ezreal Morgana. A bit of a counter matchup again. Second time we have an engaged support into a Morgana, but it is what it is. We just deal with it. Surely at some point somebody has to step through here, right? Oh my lord. Ah, oh, of course I'm the one that gets fucking hooked. Or, you know, Morgana queued. Yeah, I got an assist. You know the worst part is? I ult tabbed at that moment, so it's pure luck that I even hit Viego there. Alright, I don't have time to leash. Anyway, I think I'm gonna start doing... Navori, Navori or Infinity a second, or even Bloodthirst a second. I think like a Mosquito with this fucking Renan's Rush. I feel like it's not so good if you need the 1v9. So we'll see how we get on with uh, more expensive items. Good trade. Alright, this wave will now reset and Lena will actually be able to hopefully do something since obviously she can't do much under turret. Problem with slow pushing with you, when you have an engaged support like Leona, who's like really low range engage, is that on the third wave she's gonna be really close to the turret and it's gonna be hard to do much, so I would recommend just uh crashing on the second wave if you can do it fast. 
That way this reset just leads to Leona having a much better wave state. And now we just let them push into us. Especially because... Uh, I don't know, actually know where Viego started, by the way. I don't know if he started topside or red. There's some vision there. But we might be getting ganked soon, is what I'm saying, so... Best to have the lane in a safe spot either way. We definitely don't want to want Leona to engage now, by the way. Uh, because now the wave is so big. So now we just chill. Would have been okay to look when engaged before, though. An ally has been slain. Okay, nice. Not bad. Well, kind of bad for Kled, who's missing out on a massive amount of farm, but... Like, if I'm Garen, I'm happy with that dive. Oh, missed that. No, 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 no. Too big a wave. Too big a wave. Just run. Just run. Okay. That could be a lot worse. Oh, no. I was about to say, like, if Leona got Morgana snared into that wave, that would be really bad. And it was really bad, wasn't it? Okay, at least you left, though. Definitely could have gone worse. Both fights could have gone worse. <coughs> I didn't think that turret would focus that my bad. Okay, we do see Viego bot side. My instincts were right that he would be would have started top side. Actually, he just farmed some of J's force camps, didn't he? Or one of J Force camps. I think pretty sure he took Gromp. Because his CS would indicate that he's done all of his jungle, which is 24 CS. Then Scuttle Crab, which is 28 CS. And then one more camp, which has to be one of our camps. 32. 36 would indicate he took J Force entire bot side quadrant. <coughs> Either that or he just farmed his own camps again. But Oh yeah, okay, I guess he just did that. That means he didn't take any scuttle crabs then. Or did well, I suppose he could have done one scuttle crab in one of his own camps. Nice one. Okay, we're getting a gank. Nice one. Not gonna kill her though. We do force her flash. We should be fine here. <laughs> Leona did not need to use W. Let's just crash this in base. I'm sitting on a lot of gold. The pressure's bodice is really good for getting me a base. Hmm, <clears throat> yeah, sure, we'll do Berserkers. Does you're not gonna crash that? He should really do that. With Leona, or sorry, with Morgana, he's got plenty of wave clear. I think I gotta rotate here with them. Nah, it's fine. Fight is over already. No one catches me except for my aunt. Man, I can't get anything faster. Really? <laughs> Gonna roam Zeri? Yeah, that's fine. So this is a good time for Leona to roam because of the fact that this wave is pushing towards me. I just need to make sure I'm not dying really stupidly. Like getting caught by a Morgana Q here, for example. And slowly but surely, this wave goes under my turret where I can farm it very safely. 
If this wave was instead pushing towards them, then they can infinitely zone me until Leona gets back into lane. And I'm going to be very upset about my support not being there to support me, you know? Wave pushing towards me, though? I don't care. Roam all you want. I'm glad about the solo XP. Especially here, where they didn't even manage to crash this. This is really bad for them. Where are they? Azrael already missed out on one farm. I'm just gonna go mark on here. Nice one. <laughs> I managed to hit it with three hits at the same time there. That was Q, Auto, and W all hitting her at the same time. Okay, we're just gonna maintain this freeze. And... Transport my team, I guess. I don't think they need my help. Okay, nice. I was keeping my eye on the map just to make sure that I wasn't needed. Looks good. By the way, one item we can consider on Zarya that I haven't been considering is Kraken Slayer instead of Shieldbow if we're against super tanky comps. <coughs> Ow. Oh, that's very bad for me. Okay, I live. Not bad, not bad. The Nestor level Vault? He probably used the Trans Still Drake. They have vision here. I'll just see through here once I need to get there. Okay, perfect. I just wanted to cheese a trade onto somebody there. <laughs> Whether it was Morgana or Israel. I need to be careful here. One E and I'm dead. One E auto at least. Oh! <clears throat> I was not ready for that. <clears throat> Good idea from Israel. Wait, how fucking long has Leona been roaming, by the way? This works out fine because they haven't been zoning me from farm. And they haven't been diving me either. Thankfully, they don't have a good diving bot lane. But this is, like, excessive for roam timing. But uh, it definitely is worth it, I would say. Just because of how long I've been getting solo XP without dying. If I can just get solo XP and keep, uh, like, stay even in farm, then what is the point of having a support, you know? I'm literally ahead in farm still. Well, is it kind of risky for me to go for? We don't even know Morgan isn't here. Ooh... It's all good. Almost could finish him. I should have ghosted from the start, actually. That would have been good. Oh well. Suppose I can stick around for the plating. Never mind. Not with Morgana here. Let's go recall over here. You can start channeling your recall mid-dash, by the way. That's why this is really nice. Only problem is I'm not going to have E up to get out of base here. Um, I don't think J4 should be going for that, but I, I mean... Like, once Cesaro gets into lane here, he's going to be alone, but... You can just E out of it as well. I shall do this. Yeah. I shall have got my E anyway. Probably because I took so fucking long with this, deciding what I wanted to buy. Alright, let's see. Actually, you know what? This might work out. If he hits Ezreal with the EQ, Ezreal is gonna have to E away to get away from J4. Then he can ult. Oh, he's not playing it like that, though. Hmm, nice try, nice try. Hmm, that's not very good, though. Okay, I'm nearly here. Should've ghosted sooner. Nah, I'm so fucked. Damn it. Does he at least die? No, he's too fast. Damn, that was rough. <laughs> what are you... What the fuck are you doing in base, Siri? What do you mean, what am I doing in base? Huh? I'm just gonna drop a question mark. Wait, actually, could you elaborate? I'm generally curious what he thought I did wrong there. 
Wait 20 seconds in base. Did I wait 20 seconds in base? I know it took a while, but... Pretty sure it wasn't that long. <coughs> Especially because I, when I was in base, I was waiting for HP and mana anyway, right? So... Even though I got the base and still hadn't decided what I wanted to buy, it's not like it massively delayed me. I even got into lane faster than the average champion should because of the Zeri E. Oh. Okay. God, I'm so dead here. Ah, but a faster Leona key would have helped. So screwed. Ah, man. She just stunned Viego before he hit W. Oh, that sucks. My bad. We should have played some vision. I went too aggressive while we didn't have vision. gonna say it looks like she's about to get a solo kill. Okay. That was everywhere, man. Look at him. He's 6 1 and 3. Alright, we'll shove out two waves here, and then I might consider rotating mid. Just for trying to join a fight. Uh, okay, looks like the fight is over. Vigo's top side, so I'm not too afraid. I know, I know. This should be good. Cool. Alright, that's fine. Ooh, Leona. Careful. Yeah, I just wanted to extend my, like, uh, deal more damage to Ezreal. I didn't actually want to, like, properly dive him. So it would have been annoying if Leona died there. Misunderstanding my intentions for a dive. Fuck, he reached me. Was hoping he wouldn't. Yeah, I can base for shield bow. I've got a pretty solid CS lead over Ezreal. Actually, you know what another advantage uh, Navori has over Infinity Edge is? You get plenty of ability haste, don't you, from it? Yeah, 20. So that gives you an ultimate uh, reduction on the cooldown of your ultimate. Which, as we mentioned in the previous game, Zero is very reliant on. You could even probably consider running Ultimate Hunter on her. I can't imagine this is bad. <coughs> of all the ADCs that people like suggest running Ultimate Hunter on, like Zaya and Ash, I would say it's the least troll on Zero of all ADCs. Because she really needs it. Like, there's a difference. Oop. I'll need to pop Ghoster, I think. Do we want to fight? No, not at the moment. There's a big difference between your champion having a really good ultimate, like Zaya and Dash, and thinking, yeah, let's get some more downtime, on, uh, more uptime on this because it's really good, you know? And there's a big difference between your champion... That's not where I'm meant to go. <laughs> big difference between your champion actually needing your ultimate to function, which is what I think Ultimate Hunter should be for. Awesome. The fucking Diego on the way, don't we? Fuck. 
I gotta leave. Can I just... Oh, I can keep pushing here. They're gonna be dealing with my teammates on mid lane. If, if I'm unlucky, there's one person staying back to cheese me. Which would be the right call because they technically saw me in vision going back into lane. But I don't think they're gonna do it. So I can get this turret and sadly I'm one CS off of cool. Maybe I still get that. Nice one, Kled. <coughs> so yeah, that's why I would say ultimate hunter is probably okay on Zeri. Zaya doesn't need her ultimate function. Ash does not need her ultimate function. Both are fine champions without their ultimates, but for Zeri, you don't have ult, you don't do anything. That's the difference. Those are the, the only champions where I would recommend ultimate, ultimate hunter is where if you don't have your ultimate, you don't do anything. Yeah, we'll do Navori. Sh Navori should be really good for cutting this game. We could use it to cut the Garen, could use it to cut the Viego. Third item, we can do either. <laughs> Stay for man. No, actually, it was uh, Cled pinging me. Um, <clears throat> on third item, we can do either do Lord Dominix if we want more damage, or we can do Bloodthirst if we want survivability. ability. I think we'll go Lord Dominix, looking at the builds so far. And anyway, I got ult up. I kill him, Diego. Here is huge. I got him. I got him of all people. Let's fucking go. I got this. I fucked it. Should be fine, but... Could've had so much more there. Oh. Okay, I got this. I went too far, damn it. Ah, uh, I might be dead now. I'm dead. Ah, uh, fucked it. Oh well. Uh, Cloud has been doing some good work here, I guess. Let me see. Uh, how could I have played that better? <clears throat> so this was all good. Not much for me to do here, just DPSing. That's what it is. W was okay, yeah, fine. So we dash through here. I'm pretty sure I just start missing Qs right off the bat onto Velkaz, yet. Yeah. He walked into that one, otherwise it missed. Eh, that was okay. And here... There's not much for me to do, like I can't directly walk into them. I'm sort of... So I, I played it a little too aggressive in the sense that I can do a lot here if I stand aggressively enough where they get baited into trying to punish me, right? But I can't walk into them. I don't want to walk up and take damage, but I want to stand in a position where they might think it's smart to walk into me, you know? And eventually they did do that. It I took too much damage in the process, more than I needed to, but they did do it. And then I just, I think I messed it up and then I kept on playing too aggressive. Or missed my, I think I was missing cues mostly. <clears throat> up fucking hell okay let's pop ultimate here ah oh, fuck fuck fucking okay you're kidding me okay <gasps> Give me up. Okay, so having the Vori here was so much better than having Runance. Holy shit. Okay, it doesn't even matter how much Zero skills with the tax speed. I'm just going to Navori from now on. Navori and Affinity Edge, depending on the game. Or even Bloodthirster. That was not bad. Wasn't another shutdown, was it? That wasn't another shutdown, but we tried it one for one, so not bad. And yeah, look at my ult cooldown. So much lower. This is really good. It's gonna be 53 seconds at rank 3.
I don't think we want to rush the Baron. Maybe we start it now though. They don't seem to be reacting to the fact that we could be on it, so may as well start it. Oh, hello. Didn't see her, my bad. Took a ton of fucking damage here for no reason. Need to be ready to just E out if I need to. Okay, nice one. I wouldn't recommend engaging necessarily, but... Where did the desert go? Oh, there. Ah, this sucks. I need to get out of here. I'm gonna fucking die, aren't I? Okay, I'm alive. <laughs> Wasted a lot of Vigo's time, I guess. Alright, like, let's get me out of here. Drake up in 20. I suppose I can just go rush that, because I don't think my team is going to be ending. Mm. Guess I can farm the wolves. Man, you do so much damage without Renan's. Why did I waste time with his item? Yeah, I want to wait for the J4 actually. Just reset, reset. I'm just trying to zone Viego from it. I'll just take one. Okay, here we go. Nice one. Alright, I think we should push bot with our Baron buff. Yeah, Ori pushing mid is also really good there. And bot lane just pushes itself. <coughs> Ideally it would be clad this mid, I think, but... Along somebody's mid. Do I need to pop ghost here? No, we're good. Oh, he really expected that Viego to collapse. He did not expect Viego to pussy out. Oh well. Okay. Ah, that was terrible. Oh, wait, there's a fucking... What does here, my bud? Ow! Ow! There's a fucking Diego. Got him. Okay, nice. <laughs> nice one. Fallen hips down, let's just go ahead and end. Ah, okay. GG. Definitely preferring the Navori second. Yo, the gamers, we are back. For another game of Zeri to Diamond, this time we're going to be playing Zeri Rakan into Kogma Thresh, a very interesting duo, should be an okay one I think. Oh, no leash, okay. Why wouldn't he start red if he's just doing leashless? Yeah, choosing could be good here. Well, except for the fact that we lose to Kogma Thresh, but that's just a small, irrelevant factor. In the world of seeking dopamine through level 1 cheeses. Okay, uh, I need to disengage now, actually. I shouldn't have walked up as far as I did. Um, Rakana's in trouble. It's all good. We actually managed to do a lot of return damage here while they're chasing into us. Which they have no choice to do because they're going back at the lane, right? Wasn't too bad. Ooh, Kogma has lungs with three pots, though. Oh man, he really slowed down his clear for us. Careful, careful, careful Rakan. Oh no, I'm dead now. I don't have ghost. I mean, maybe if I flash, I escape. Ah, Kogma's ghost though, though. But Rakan, what was that, buddy? Oh no, <laughs> what? 
That was dumb. <laughs> oh well. Nah, but we misplayed it as well. Thought we had level two with that. Um Yeah, that was the second wave, wasn't it? But yeah, we missed CS at the start. But I mean We're clearly not level two. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think once Kog'Maw flashed, I made I made a mistake in tr like continuing to try and harass Kog'Maw there. That's why I used Ghost. I immediately realized, no, wait, we'd lose the extended fight because Kog'Maw W is actually really good level one. And now we can't, can't stay on Kog'Maw. So instead, we should have just disengaged at that point. <coughs> the level one went worse than it should have since we started off at a huge advantage. Mm. Yeah, that's actually a really good trade. I like that trading pattern. The if we if we can land the W on Kogma, that's really good. It's it's just a shame that I didn't have my passive up because that could have been an even better trade. But if he can just engage, we burst him a little bit, then we disengage. He just uh, dashes back onto me. Then that's actually really nice. Okay, Kogma is currently level three. I'm about to hit level three off of the, like these three casters, I guess. Careful. Nope. <laughs> One melee. <laughs> okay, nice. I'm trying to hold on to my passive in case we go for another trade. I don't even need Rakan to actually engage with his W. So long as Thresh is really far away, what I can do is just dash onto Kogma and Q auto like this. Ah, but I missed the Q though. Okay, that's good. That's a kill. Right? Okay, it's gonna be to Rakan's Ignite, unfortunately, but it'll have to do. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Let's crash this. Can't click in the area because of the Kog'Maw Corps. Oop. Gotta be careful here. Don't want to go too deep for the Thresh, otherwise we get hooked. Mm, no, we don't have Ignite, don't bother. May as well kill him. Oh my lord, who's that? Ari, okay. Definitely want to pop the ghost then. Thank god she's now level 6. <coughs> well, that's a shame. All I wanted to do was base. At least I got kills worth of gold now. Oh, so did Kog'Maw. Wait, did he? Or was that? No, that was just the knockdown. No, that was the Kog'Maw. Um... I guess I can try and contest. Oh, Kog'Maw's still in this. No, wait, what? Wait, I'm so confused. No, Kog'Maw... Dude, that was weird. A fucking Kog'Maw auto went from there to there. I thought that was a Kog'Maw key, you know? Oh, shit. Okay, we got it. No way. Wait, the other Shen. I only just noticed. Thank you for the gold. Well, I need to get out of here now. No, he may as well have just died to the Thresh kill. Alright, I cannot farm that wave, so... They're not gonna crash it in time either, so this should be... But the best chance of basing I'm gonna have. Oh, the Fear will rotate for that. Oh no, she didn't. Unless she TP'd. Oh. oh, she means she's gonna freeze, I guess. Or oh, that Shen lost a lot. Yeah, you see, still no crash. Oh, 
Not bad. Alright, let's crush this fast. They're basing. Oh. We can stop this base. That's fine. We wait out the Kog'Maw W. We don't want to trade into Kog W if we can avoid it. Ow. Should be fine, though. Even though, even though I missed one Q. Got him. Nice one. Good shit. Um... Do you think do you think Nocturne's level six yet? Small risk, but I'm gonna take it. Okay, he's in the river and he's not level six. We don't have to let him crash. Or sorry, uh, freeze. Or he might be ganking us now though. But at the time she was still mid. So we didn't have to let Thrush freeze. Okay, cool. I didn't quite catch where Thresh went. He might be sitting in that brush. I got an escape here if I need it. What's it do with warding there? There we go. Okay, there he is. I'm all good here. We have pushing towards me. It's the same thing we discussed in the previous game when Leona wanted to roam. As long as they can't dive me, then I'm perfectly happy in this scenario. Okay, that was a bit risky. Still, even without my E, I should be perfectly fine here. They will get some platings, nothing to do about that. One plating. About 20 CS up, no bad. So what they want to do to try and abuse this, since they can't really dive me, is they want to just slow push or freeze if possible. We got Recon on the way. Okay, Kog'Maw has no W, so this would be a good time to fight, or, well, Kog'Maw currently has W, but it's running out. So it'd be really good to engage off there. Here we go. Okay, that's fine. Kog'Maw has W back. Ooh, Rakan, that was weird. Um... Okay, he lives, thank god. I was vaguely worried about the Shenult. I was that I was every time Kogma went through the brush, I was worried like, oh is Shen gonna ult now that he's out of vision. But no. No Shenult. I would not recommend diving. Uh nah, I missed. Damn it. Unless oof. If I had my fully charged passive, that was free, but I didn't. Um I don't know where Ari is. We might be getting ganked by her. I think getting Berserker's here would be better than Shield Bow. That also would have been a free dive if I actually had enough attack speed. To do more Qs. I can take all my time, all the time in the world to set up that E since I'm waiting for mana anyway. Okay, the second item of Warrior will be amazing against Nocturne. Oh man. Just me hard right now. They should have just turned that fight. They might greet for Zoe here. Probably not though. Yeah, but they're gonna use Herald. I think it's worth it for me to 
Go in here. I'll just path around. I don't want to even let them know that I'm here. Okay, here we go. Fuck. Bro, I'm stuck in this world! You're kidding me, man! Oh my god, that was so awkward not having vision and then getting stuck in the herald. Oh, come on. Okay, 800 gold shot down. That was so worth it. That was the one person I wanted to kill as well, although I didn't even notice it at the time. Thank god. Oh, she got a shot down on me as well, but it was only a small one. Ooh. You guys got this, right? This should be free as hell. Oh no. Ah, that's so sad. He's dead now. That blows. Yeah, that shun protection for Kogma is gonna be very annoying late game. <coughs> I don't know why I didn't, uh... E from base, by the way. Maybe I can just E onto Kogma now, though. Uh, okay, so Zoe will get this farm and then rotate back mid. Didn't bother going mid myself because... I would basically be shoving in one wave and then coming here anyway. And then missing out on the wave this year anyway, so... Alright, Kogma's gonna be basing. You got a lot of gold spent from those platings, so... This is our chance to push. I gotta flash that just to be safe. Really? I don't know why Rakan went mid. I shouldn't have had the flash there. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna have to, have to give up this turret as well now because they can just ignore me, kill the turret, and then dive me. Is this for me? It is. It should be okay. Yeah, cool. Nice one. Just wasted a Noctinult. This is like one of the worst ADCs for Noctin to be facing, by the way. Most ADCs, even with dashes, I think might have died there. <laughs> at least had a decent chance of dying. Like, with at least if Noctinults. Uh, sorry, flashes. But even if Noctin flashed there, there was zero chance he could kill me. Kogma is really hurting now. An enemy has been slain. Just trying to cheese, I think. Be perfect, but never is. They better be able to win that. An ally has been slain. I don't think they won that. No flash or ghost on Kogma though, I guess. Ah, uh, but he gets a double as well. I'll just push while I can. Nobody's coming for me this time. Or I might be coming from base, but she won't get her in time. <clears throat> nice one. Rake is up in 9 seconds. <coughs> well, if we're not contesting Drake, then we need to get the Herald. We have no vision on the Drake, so as far as we know, they're on it. And if we move now, it's going to be too late. So, I think we have to start the Herald. Uh, okay. Let's get the Herald, please. Oh, I don't have... E now? Where is he? Oh, he's top. 
Okay. Uh, well, we know he's not on the Drake at least then. If we can just catch out Nocturne then. Oh. No, I didn't dash in time. Hang on. Ah, but I'm so fucked here, man. <laughs> no. How are we the ones getting caught here, man? I'm gonna... Okay, yeah, Shen ult, but... Okay, I guess they were coll kind of collapsing on you and they had to leave. So what I should have done was I just should have dashed with this wall. I played it more aggressively. I wanted to like get on the flank, but I, I guess I hadn't really noticed. I, I saw Thresh. I hadn't really noticed Dari though. So what I was wanting to do here was just flank like Thresh there basically through the wall. And that was really bad. Oh, now they get Herald and the Drake is such a disaster, man. Nice one. Oh, they just barely get the turret. Well, this is one of the least valuable ones. Guess I'll just farm top. Oh <laughs> Rakan, could you not farm? <laughs> I don't want to go on him. We don't want to go on him. He's so tanky, he would take forever to kill. They have so much time to go save him and catch us out. Yeah, look, he's taking a run because he's got allies around. We can sell coal for Navori. I'm fine. <laughs> like, <laughs> this knocked him, bro. Is it, if you're, I should be able to get a top lane farm. <clears throat> I can't go bot. They're just too grouped around the Baron area. If anything, Fiora should be bot. Just got TP. Very tanky Nocturne build, actually. What the hell? I've never seen a build like that. Damn, I didn't get this uh, store to kill. Nice one. Okay, this is huge, though. We should get the Baron here. This one. You, you have raptors up, like, come on, just let me farm, man. Also, what the hell is Rakan doing there? Maybe I can get. Oh, what? I didn't mean to dash through so far. Okay, I'm running now. Yeah, that was a really bizarre decision from Rakan, though. Okay, I need the Golar Dominics here, right? Look at their fucking builds. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know about you, but I didn't even notice Rakan was going on Kog'Maw. Minji were nowhere near in position. There was no reason for Rakan to be there. I would like the red if I could get it. Can't fucking see it now. Hey. Hope you meant to give me that. Let's 
Could be good. Oh. I'm good. Nice one. Nice. Maybe I should have popped ghost stages ago. Man, I didn't even get an assist off of this guy. Oh, man. I currently don't have E, but it's fine. It'll be up in time if I get a Nocturnal Tid. Oh, no. Okay, at least we got the Kog'Maw. <laughs> Blast gun form. That's right. Wow, you can actually do that through the gate. Oh man, if we could have just reached them. Mm. Just not sure how much I want to commit to that. Fucking hell, wait. Got her. Okay, did a lot of damage. If your head actually backed me up, man. Ah, yeah, she knows it. All good in the hood. She didn't know. I just didn't expect them to chase me that hard, though. Like it should have been free, except I didn't fucking expect that in a million years. I should have played that better as well. Nocturne is low. He had the base. I think my team should be able to get that. Yeah, we know how oh, we had no E, by the way. Fuck no. If, who was that that flushed on me? Was that Shen or Nocturne? Shen. I think he slowed me, didn't he? I'm not sure. It was so close to me being able to just kite them out for the triple kill. <coughs> Oh, it might have just been Nocturne Deadman's plate, actually. Assuming Kog'Maw isn't just sitting here cheesing. Don't want to stay overextended here. Funny how many ult Nocturne ultimates we just, we've just we wasted throughout this game, by the way. So many times he ults me just for me to E away. Imagine this game if he hadn't wasted so many of his ultimates if he'd used them on teammates that were actually catchable. Uh, whoops. Got him. <clears throat> really could do with this Lord Dominic soon. Ooh. Got him. Is he just gonna dash on me because I ulted? Or ult on me because I dashed, or... Oh, he's fucking there. I don't know why he was there. Baited. Sort of. Okay. I did bait. No! Too far, too far! No! Damn it, I dashed way too far there, my bad. Okay. Yeah, that dash in was really good, though. The, not the very end, but uh, the rest of it just... 
forcing them to go on me. Because the thing is, I can always escape, right? They don't kill me in time before I just sprint out with Ghost and Ult. Let's see where that was. Yeah, here. Like, it looks complete in, right? And it is, that's the point. The point is for it to be such a stupid move that they have to punish it. But then I walk away. And now Kog'Maw is just overextended, although... My team should have been in a much better position. The Rakan was the only one that followed up, but then Ari also overextends. We get Ari. Nocturne tries to punish and kill me. I get a Nocturne. Okay, what do we do now? Infinity? No, sorry. Uh, Bloodthirster. Gonna have to beat. I do not want to go bot. <coughs> I don't have TP. This won't be perfect, but life never is. I can do wolves though. Okay, so I can I can farm here, I think. But I can't use E the wave clear. Drink up in 50. I guess I should be fishing for a W poke more often. Oh. That could actually be really good. Got him. I'm fine. That fear is annoying though. Okay, nice. Uh, I'm gonna push mid. People should do Baron though. We should get probably at least Baron. Mm, actually, okay, I'll settle for the turret. Can't even get the turret. Okay, we're, we're gonna have to get Drake and Baron. Just one person do Drake. One person do Drake. But it has to be me or Yi, basically. Oh no. Uh, somebody get that. <coughs> Well, I think we could have also got maybe a inhib as well if we played it perfectly. I think no, I think the only way that could have worked is if Zoe is the only one pushing mid. Zoe is the one with least DPS, but she has enough AP where her autos do damage to turrets. So she doesn't do much to the Baron and doesn't do much to the Drake, but she could at least push turrets, I think. Very slowly, but I don't know. She might not get inhib, but she would definitely get maybe the turret at least. Oh well, anyway, that was a really good fight. Rakan, why? Most of that wave was not gonna die. Until you did that. And use Z to wave clear. As long as I'm expecting to potentially get knocked and ulted. I just hug the wall in case he is ulting me. That should be top. Yeah. Do I just keep pushing? I think I do. <coughs> Maybe I just have on cock here. It's a little bit risky though. Mm, no, we're gonna have to try and help here. Nice one. Wow. Barely even needed. Okay, some people keep pushing mid. I'll keep pushing here. Sorry, top, rather. Just no reason to only push one lane here. And if they manage to kill Cog there, yep, it's GG. I think we just end now. Don't even need to push mid now. Good shit. What they should have done was just give up that inhib and have, have the Nexus Turrets protect them. GG.
All right, and that's going to be it for now, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Later, gamers.